Hey, what is going on everybody? How is everyone's Sunday going guys? Welcome guys. Welcome, welcome to the show. Hello, welcome. Guys, we've got uh, another good stream here for you guys today. Um, today we're going to, I, I was going to fly in Europe, but I kind of changed my mind. Maybe we'll fly in Europe later today. Um, but what we're doing today guys is I'm going to fly uh, with some US, uh, with some US operations. Delta, uh, Delta Airlines on uh, at one of the world's funniest airports, which is a national park to do Jackson. That's where we are, guys. Uh, that's where we are today. Uh, and we need to get to office on the day. What we're aiming to do is we're aiming to fly from Atlanta to Memphis uh, and we're going to go back and we'll go through there. Um, but we'll see how things go. Maybe stop changing. So, sorry guys, so what uh, what I did was I actually split the audio up, so, so what that means is that now sort of all the audio uh, layers should be separate volumes, it should be easier to hear. So I've turned up the Sims audio, I've turned down the ATC's audio, uh, and some effects I've also sort of turned down here. So uh, I'm going to need you guys to sort of be my... Uh, guinea pigs here today. So let me know how the volume sounds like when we uh, when we sort of take off and, and do all that fun stuff. Uh, and again, what I'll probably do also uh, is watch the uh, replay myself, just so I'm able to sort of hear what the audio is. Right? Again, I spent a good chunk of time this morning just messing around with the audio and so just let the audio and so so. uh, This should be a good fight guys. Anyways, welcome, welcome to my joining. I know Saturday didn't mean. I said I promised I'd be on in Saturday didn't mean. That's exactly what happened, guys. We're here on uh, Saturday, Saturday at noon. Um, we are flying. I, I decided I was going to fly 787. Um, let's fly the 737 uh, for a bit here. Um, and then uh, I'm thinking next week we'll maybe switch back to uh, we'll switch back to uh, Airbus. Is this the 737? This is correct. This is the 737 8 generation so we're gonna fly this again you'll see the 737 very very manual uh, for sure for sure uh, but we'll make this work here uh, again we're gonna do Atlanta which is I think the world's largest airport by geography uh, into Memphis and then we'll probably do the flight unless something changes here uh, but we'll see how things we'll, yeah we'll see how things go uh, and we'll go from there we should have ATC uh, in Atlanta and in our arrival into Memphis, we should also have ATC here. I'm probably going to be live for, honestly man, probably not that long today, maybe 3-4 hours, we'll see how things go, we'll see how long this flight takes. Um, anyways, I do want to get this point. which aircraft the 737-800 next generation. Um, I, yeah, we'll see what happens guys in terms of this flight here, um, but uh, we'll, we'll start with this here. So, anyways guys, should we get started? Again, let me keep, give me feedback on the audio guys. Again, I've been messing with my audio all morning, so let me know if the audio actually does sound better on your side. I can't really hear it because I still have my audio is set to the regular volume, but it's just you guys should hear better. Um, so let me know guys on feedback. Cool. Okay, uh, so we actually have an eight cars right now uh, already. Uh, we have our PDC here uh, that was sent, so I can actually just look at our... Um, 
actually here I pulled up here so we can look at the guys to see that. So I'm gonna just pull up the SR here. We'll read the eight cars together guys, uh, just so you guys can sort of get the, the departure briefing here. So today we are gonna be Delta 2049 and we are in the 738. Uh, departure airport is going to be a Manta, so Kilo Alpha to Nico Lima. Lima is the airport code for the departure airport. Arrival airport is going to be to AMM, which is the destination airport. Our route is going to take us pretty standard, it's going to be uh, AATL and then the NASA 2 departure, a uh, Chuck transition, then we'll go Wacer Van Z3 and then Memphis for the Van Z3. Uh, altitude, we are clear to three, flight level 300, which is 30,000 feet. Squawking 6073, um, maintain 10,000 feet, expect 310 minutes after departure. The departure is going to be along 347. Operate airport with uh, aircraft with low Charlie on prior to push CTC contact ramp uh, 131.37. Okay. So it's a lot there right uh, right now, uh, but for the most part we have sort of what we need. We have our squad code, we have our departure frequency, we have our initial frequency that we're going to contact, uh, and we have our route. So well, we can put that all in right now, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do this first before I forget because I always do forget. Uh, we're going to we're gonna put our proper squad code in first. So we are going to squawk 6073 right now. Okay, so we'll set this to 6073. Where are we flying from? Atlanta. Atlanta. Uh, lots of traffic here today uh, in Atlanta. Atlanta is always always a busy. Where you find to Memphis. Okay, I wanna flick all the throttle wrong, go to that on. Hey, welcome back. Good morning. Good morning, Devil. Welcome. Happy uh, noon. I'm surprised you guys are joining me at this early. Again, for those joining us, I was just saying to chat right now, I split the audio up. So the ATC volume. Uh, and the sim, the, the the sim volume and my microphone volume among all the volumes are split right now. So give me feedback, guys, if the audio actually sounds better here. Because I used to just feed everything through my desktop audio, uh, but now it's going to be split to different channels right now. So I have like seven different channels right now uh, for audio. So it should sound better for you guys. Um, so again, let me know. Give me feedback, guys. Uh, good morning, Lexi. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Okay. Um, so we've done our squawk, uh, let's go, um, let's go into our, uh, FMC here and just see what we're looking at here. So departure runway looks like it's gonna be, uh, let's see, the eight is here. Departure runway is 26 left or 27 right. Um, it doesn't really matter, we'll just set for 26 left right now. Uh, I also need to check the altimeter right now, so let me go into the ATIS right now. ATIS is information Foxtrot. Okay. Altimeter is 3026. 3026, so let's fuck this up. 3026. Yeah, we'll let you know if it sounds good about it. I'd like to start some stuff. What would you recommend for a budget? Um, a budget one? Well, it depends what your budget is. Um, and it depends. Do you have a computer? Or, like, I'm assuming you want to start on a computer. So I guess my question would be, do you have a computer? Do you want to buy a computer? Or is a computer part of your budget? Uh, where are we find where are we find in Europe? I don't know if we'll find Europe today. Um, we'll see. We'll see how, how things go. So things go. Right now we're in Atlanta though, we're in the States right now. Uh, we're in the US right now. 
find Tokyo? Uh, maybe. Maybe one day we could. Okay, um, let me do this then. What I'll do is we'll go into our FMC here. I'm gonna pause the mid here. Um, sure, what's the last position? Is our current position? That should be good. We'll go into our room now. So our origin is gonna be Atlanta, oh, which is K-A-T-L. Uh, I'm gonna just put the departure runway to six left. Uh, that shouldn't really matter anyways. Destination is gonna be Memphis, so K-M-E-M. -M. And our flight number today is gonna be Delta. V-A-L. <laughs> What gate are we in actually? We're at 826. Busy delay? I'm on a good PC. I'm on a good PC. Budget is around 250 Canadian ish. Uh, okay, so my recommendation then is get the Logitech all in one joystick. I think it's like $50. Uh, and it acts as everything. It has a throttle quadrant, it has your ailerons, elevators, and butter. So the Logitech uh, all in one. That was it called? The Logitech. I just just search yeah, Logitech Yoke. Uh, not Logitech Yoke. Uh, just look up Logitech uh, joystick, and it should be the it's, it should be that white and gray one. Uh, that I think it's fifty dollars, and it's good for beginner setup. That's all you need. The Shin 3D Pro. That's the one. Yeah. That is honestly all you need as a starter setup. That's all you need. For fifty bucks. That will get you everything you need to get off the ground. Okay, um, let's continue. Let's continue down here. So I'm gonna go into our next page here. Uh, I'm gonna check our flight plan here. So our flight plan is gonna take us on departure. Let's see, departure of Atlanta to six left, which we really have bumped in. We'll be on the NASA to departure for choke transition, which is correct. Our arrival into Memphis, we won't worry about that just yet. We're going to go to the next page. Uh, after Chuck, we're going direct to Waser. Okay, we're going direct to Waser. And then after Waser, we're going straight on the arrival into Memphis. So, arrival into Memphis, uh, 3 6 left, iOS 3 6 left, um, on the Vans. Arrival, so this guy right here. Vans 3 arrival and waste search transition, which is this guy right here. Okay, uh, and I'm gonna just plug in pilots 6 left and VO West. Awesome, okay. So I'm just check my legs here just to make sure it makes sense here. Waster, erase, vans, vans, uh, okay, looks good. So we'll activate this. What's your PC specs? Um, uh, the ATC volume, how, it's still too loud? How is it too loud? I legit just edited it. It's, how loud are we talking about? Because I was messing around with this. Are you sure it's too loud? Okay, I'll reduce it down to here. Let's do this. <laughs> I'm gonna put I'm gonna put down to like legit seven percent here. No, it sounds perfect. Okay, so are you just capping me right now? Okay, I'm gonna move it down one. Okay, uh, let's just see what you're looking at here. I was looking at that. Is there any cheap dog project I can match with it? Uh, that FX, the Logitech Extreme Pro has a built-in throttle. It's like a very sketchy small throttle on it, but it has a throttle. It has a throttle on it. So that's why I'm saying that Logitech Extreme 3D Pro is uh, is good because it has everything built into it. Um, okay. Uh, does it work if I use a monitor for bad sim? Mostly, I know what to do on my three aircrafts. Um, does it work if I use a monitor for Vatsim? Uh, what do you mean use a monitor for Vatsim Devil? Like Vatsim itself is just the, it's just like the ATC, right? So it's not, you don't actually need a monitor to look at anything with Vatsim, right? You just need, I guess, charts on another screen, but you don't really with Vatsim itself, it's just the audio, right? Uh, I had a Last Master Hot Test 1, but returned it because I was on Xbox and it worked for me. Uh, I have the Hot Test X, I love it. Um, 
a lot. What's a PC specs? I'm AMD 7800 XT, 60 gigabytes of VRAM, uh, Intel 12th Gen i7 CPU. Um, these should teach me a lot. So much thank you. Thank you. Um, your YouTube background is loud. YouTube background is loud. Okay. Well, quotes, how much RAM? Uh, yeah, so I just answered that right there. Um, I have a, so my graphics card has 60 gigabytes of VRAM built into it, and then my actual RAM is 32 gigabytes um, as well. Uh, yeah, I saw that. I like to add one for the experience. Is there a cheap one? Uh, no, uh, there's nothing worth. Uh, there's nothing worth adding, to be honest with you. Um, in terms of the H for Z, what's up, man? Welcome, welcome. Uh, but yeah, I I don't uh, I don't there, there's yeah. You could spend eighty dollars if you really want buying the Logitech Dual Culture by itself. I have it. It's not that good. It works, but it's it feels very cheap and clunky. Uh, you're probably honestly better off just messing around with that Logitech joystick throttle uh, for the time being. Love these streams. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate, appreciate. All right. Anyways, um, let's get to set the plan, guys. So I'm gonna go here right now. We will go into uh, no, it's not one. We're going to here right now. Uh, we're gonna fetch a flight plan here. I'm gonna put 6.8 6.8 right here Okay, uh, zero fuel weight today is gonna be 62.3 Oh god, okay. Alright, alright I said it's a be joke. I had it, don't really like it H for Z, not gonna lie, man. I'm gonna return it. I'm probably gonna just put out for the uh, the bus master Boeing edition. Not gonna lie, man. Uh, not gonna lie. Would it be better just to get the Extreme Pro or the Hot Test One? Um, I think either or. I think either or. Okay, what's the flight? Atlanta to Atlanta to um, uh, Memphis. Yeah. H for Z. I'm gonna make a. I'm, I'm gonna make a review on it and then I'm gonna return it. Uh, I'm I'm not kidding. With you. Um, I don't I, I agree with you. I don't like it either. Uh, I gotta change sort of something here. So, uh, no, it's not that. This is a simulation. It's a simulation. Call out. No. Or what is this? Call out V2. Yeah, actually, we'll call out V2. Pause at top of descent. I don't know what that even means. No. All the time. Actually, no. I captain C no I no I yo no looks a bit lower but that's not what uh simulation not simulation that is either where is it? Options I think no it's not options, it's aircraft that displays. Ah right here. Uh right here. Sorry guys, I, I don't know why it's resetting the settings here. I'm just making sure uh, failures with the, the displays. I think this is fine. I think this is fine here. We'll go back into options and go back into here. Um, okay, now let's see. Uh, uh, okay, that. Yeah, see, I don't know why it's turning all these off all of a sudden, so weird. Okay, turn that on, turn that on, turn this on, turn on that, turn on that. Okay, I think that's it. Okay. Currently doing a five hour flight from Bog Bogota to New York. Very cool. What Yolk bicycle do you use? Um, I'm currently using the Velocity 1 uh, Yolk, but like we just talked about, I'm probably going to return. I don't, I don't really like it. I don't think it's any better than like what we have right now. All right. Anyways, now let's go back into here, guys. Let's go into our <laughs> zero three weight. This should work now. Six two point three. Okay. There we go. Reserve fuels is going to be uh, three point zero. Three point zero. I'm going to go into uh, adverse actions here. What if you will put total kilograms? That would not be good. 
I don't know why it switched me over to. That's so weird. I don't know why it switched me over to count, which kind of just messed up all my calculations right there. Oh, no, no, no. Cost index 14. Cruise level today. Uh, we are going to be cruising yeah. at 30,000 feet today. Okay. Uh, cruise level, don't worry about that. We'll execute that. We'll go to end one limits here. We'll put this in. Uh, and the takeoff speeds, I will set this to 5. We'll go over to the first action of the payload. 5. Okay. Uh, last thing we just need to do, guys, is do our takeoff calculations. So I'll request that. I will go to performance 2. We'll import this. We will depart up to 6 left. We'll import, import. Calculate 139, 141. 139, 141, 145. 141, 145. Awesome. Okay. Insufficient fuel. Uh, why is it giving insufficient fuel? That doesn't seem right. Jeff, we're going to take the fuel. Uh, I have 6,728 kilograms of fuel. That should be enough because I don't know why it's still insufficient fuel. But Either way, set this to one. Uh, oops, set this to one point five. Okay, I want to flick that to RTO. Uh, initial climb altitude. Uh, what were we cleared to? We were cleared initially. Uh, let me just see. What were we ready for? We were initially. 10,000 feet, so we're going up 10,000 feet. Um, I'm just going to read the charts here so I don't screw myself. You still doing your set video on Tuesday? Yeah, I have the video ready to go. If it's not Boeing, I'm not going. Uh, yeah, I have the video, I'm editing it, it's going to be posted on Tuesday. Okay, um, I'm going to look at the charts here. It says 26 left, climb heading 27. Five. Oh, we'll bug this in for 275 right now. Okay, we'll set course 275 to set course 2882 to Snuffy, then climb on depicted route to NASA. So I'm just gonna see here with a fly to we we'll fly 275 uh, heading, then intersect Snuffy, then go to DDOT, then go to NASA. So I think that's going to be how we're going to fly this. Snuffy to DDOT to NASA. So that is correct. Awesome. Okay, so we're pretty much ready, guys, to push back here. Man, if you don't get Phoenix A320 and call it a day, I have. So here's the thing. I have the I have the Phoenix. Uh, one of my viewers gave me the Phoenix. My issue with the Phoenix is that the audio is really really quiet I can't hear anything on the plane so that's my real issue with it and it doesn't seem to be a fix for it unless I jack up the volume if I jack up the volume I can't hear anything else right so that's my issue with the Phoenix hey Spexy what's up uh, what Boeing is this this is the 737-800 fell longer flights are better because it builds up suspense for landing yes it does uh, but it also is very very boring at the same time so it depends what you want to have you tried the audio on the block to update? I do. Again, like I can barely hear anything. Like I, I can barely hear the engines or anything, right? On my Phoenix. That's my issue. Uh, I'm flying American 77 engine Atlanta to Miami. Very cool one. Uh, but yeah, that's my issue. I'm gonna spend time to fix it, guys. Or I'm gonna try to look at a, a uh, fix for it. I can fly the Phoenix just fine, you know, when I'm not streaming. But when I'm streaming, the audio gets really, really weird right now. Uh, it's probably on my side, Jody, to be honest with you. I it's it, There's so many options on that thing, I gotta figure out what options. Like I said, I spent all morning messing with my audio setting for OBS today, so we found the mentions about the audio. Okay, anyways, uh, let's uh, let's get this guy pushed back here. So we'll open our fuel pumps here. Uh, I'm gonna start the APU right now. 
Okay, so we'll start the APU. We'll turn the APU lead on right now. I'm gonna turn the fasten seatbelt sign to on. Turn the no smoking sign on as well. Okay, I'm gonna bug this for 30,000 feet. Uh, and then our altitude at, uh, or elevation at uh, Memphis should be 292, uh, 321. Okay, so we'll call it 321, so we'll just call it 300 then. I'll call it 350, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're just waiting for the APU startup, guys, and then we're gonna push this back. Are you still at the time, or is it an actual air flight? It's an actual one, it's an hour and a bit flight, Derek, and no. Um, you can, you can speed up the simulation if you're offline on VATSIM, you're not allowed to, and you saw three people get kicked on the network yesterday for trying to cheat the line, right? So, again, if you want the patience to do a real-time flight, uh, do it offline, right? Flight um, Atlanta to Memphis. Yo, how was it delayed back to Toronto? Eric, we were on the ground, get this, we were on the ground yesterday in uh, Chicago for an hour 15 minutes, and we saw three people get kicked off the network because they were trying to cheat the line, right? They're trying to jump the line, and uh, ATC wasn't having any of that last night, so that was pretty funny. Okay, uh, so APU started, guys. So I'm gonna just do that there. Okay, then what we'll do is we will go over to our PMDG FS Actions Ground Services, where we'll remove sort of all ground services. gonna wait for all of this ground stuff to go away and then we will push back guys. Yeah it was a, it was a it was a nightmare getting out of Chicago. I think we were on the ground almost as the, the flight itself was an hour and a half. We were delayed on the ground for an hour so it was wild. Absolutely crazy. It was madness. My FPS left the game on final approach. Like it was yeah, pictures. Yeah, my FPS tanked about 20 there. Completely banned or just for the day? I don't know. Maybe they just got suspended for the day. But there was, again, we were delayed in Chicago here yesterday for an hour and 15 minutes. We all waited our turn to take off. And there was, I think, three people who decided to cut the line. Uh, and ATC just, like, blew it up. Uh, it was, it was, honestly, it was deserved. Like, this is what you expect, right? When you fly in events, you get delays. Uh, expect delays. The delays are part of the fun. Uh, if you're impatient, don't fly on that side, right? So it's really that side. Did it stick to your yoke? I both, right? Was this because of traffic or did they mess up? It's because of traffic. Um, no, it was because they they were impatient there. Uh, they were just impatient. They didn't want to wait an hour to take off like the rest of us. And they got really good for me, so... Okay, um... Let's go get a pushback. Oh, why is this? Not in real life for Nana. Well, you'll get out of the lossy one. Yo, but I'm gonna return it to be honest with you. Barbecue is on. Watch your stream. Sounds good. PH, TFU. Atlanta ramp. Uh, hello. Delta 2049. We're at Alpha 26. Ready for push to start. Uh, pushed. Was that tail facing south for Delta 2049? Awesome. Okay, so tail facing tail facing south. Because uh, the the prior runway is two six. Tail. 
Okay, so he said hill south. So he's he's sending us on two six left then. So he's definitely sending us on two six left then for departure. Um, it's unfortunate because we're on the wrong side of we're on the wrong side of the airport. So I'll show you guys all the charts right here real quick while we wait for a pushback. There's someone to press the pushback here. All right, so let's take a look at web talking about um, where is this? this is Atlanta, Parkfield Jackson. Okay, so look at this, guys. So if I import this, so let me, I'll show you guys where we are, and I'll show you where we're heading for. So we're going to get 2-6 left uh, for departure, which is good, um, but take a look at this. So right now, we are at Alpha 26, which is right here, Concourse, uh, Concourse A right now. If you're done Florida, I love, I love flying to Florida. Uh, the scenery is always great there. Um, okay, so anyways, like I said, we're at Concourse A. We're gonna we're gonna push facing. We're gonna push tail facing south, but we're gonna face north. And what's gonna happen here is he's gonna ask us to uh, taxi to two six left. So two six left is all the way over here. So we basically have to taxi the length of the airport. Um, but it's an easy taxi. He'll probably put us on Echo uh, all the way down to like uh, to two six left to Florida. Okay, so, um, we're good there, so I'm going to release the parking brake. Okay. Okay, release parking brake. Okay, it's gonna push us back. Wonderful. Okay, guys, let's push back here. At this time, in just a few moments, we'll be showing you the safety video. Once the video has concluded, we'll be announcing to answer the questions you have before receiving the taxi out. Okay, I'm gonna start the engines then. Thank you for Delta today. My name is Susan. I'm your cursor for today's flight along with we'll start Charles on the economy cabin. Engine number two. Please first. welcome you aboard. Is this a mod for safety video? Yeah, it's just a mod. Okay. Put some fuel. Oh, that's cool. That's actually cool. That's good. Cool angle. Uh, let's start up at work camp I with DTA. Oh, that's unfortunate. All right, we're gonna start engine number one. Uh, what I'm gonna do as well as what's going on our taxi runway, turn on our flights are going on, what's going on for wing lights, what's going on anti collision lights. We'll turn control lights to the off position right now. Okay. I'm gonna put some fuel into that. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened. Any time the signs on, any time on. Which one was it? No, it wasn't that. Which one was it? Seven there. Where are you flying today? Memphis. How long is the flight? About an hour twenty. Okay. 
Uh, we'll turn on our engine generators here. I'm gonna turn on our parity here. So we'll keep this up. Okay. Turn off the AP. We'll turn off AP. We'll turn the packs on. We'll turn the shields on. Okay. Uh, no other warning lights here. Uh, I'm just gonna hit the recall button. No warnings. Awesome stuff. Can you do a photo fight today? Uh, maybe for some. I'm not to wear Memphis. Delta 249, we're ready for taxi. Right sound and ground point nine for Delta 249. Okay. And then tower is going to be on 119. Have a headset dent? Probably. Okay. Just check our flight controls, guys, real quick. Left, right, forward, backwards, left, rudder, right, rudder, toe brakes. Okay, everything works. Let's go, guys. Fine today, Memphis. Taxi, you just got taxi at the full end of the level here. You have a cold pilot, you can't. We're going to Memphis. You can't have a cold pilot. You can you can get a mod to get a pro pilot if you want. I don't like playing cold pilots though. Like, it's not half the fun, right? If it's super super busy, maybe. Do you have a setup? I do have a setup. I'm posting a video of my setup on Tuesday. I mean, it definitely is stressful. You guys have seen how stressful it is in busy airspaces. With the, that's why in real life they have two pilots as well, but you can not really have fun, right? Uh, Memphis is my home airport. Have you done, have you done Phoenix Ops with their, uh, FedEx Ops with their? I have not. I didn't even realize that Memphis. I didn't realize that uh, Memphis has huge cargo ops. That's very cool. Uh, yeah, but you're precisely I both came. Okay. I both. I'm gonna post a video again on Tuesday of my Saturday. This is FedEx headquarters. Very cool. Very cool. Destination airline aircraft. Destination Memphis airline Delta aircraft seven three seven eight hundred. Uh, 
Uh, that's very cool. Okay, so we gotta fly. We gotta fly some FedEx ops. That was very, very cool. I didn't realize that that's the head, head, uh, headquarters. I knew that Louisville's the uh, headquarters for UPS, but I didn't know that that this was FedEx. Uh, thank you guys for the follow, Scott and User. There's way too many deltas. How many deltas on the ground right now? I don't know uh, the who's who. Was it in the normal 738 and 738 new gen? I think the engines. And uh, I think some of the buttons are different. This is what happens when you're in Delta Home Turn, yeah. What short ramp before? You see, because there's a, what is that? KLM? Does that sound better? Sorry, I... I, I realize I just screwed up the sound setting there. That should be better, right? I think I, I... No one told me you were hearing it two times. I think I had the audio going through two times. That's why. It was so loud. I, I, that's much better, right? Southwest? Yeah, there is, okay. That's why he's waiting. He has to be double short. Oh, man. I'm pretty sure there's a Southwest map. Tax 
I'll see you on the watch. Thank you guys. There's a bunch of X9s right now. There's, I think I'm 2049, there's 39, there's 59. Say that is it not 30 on straight taxiways? It's either 20 or 30 straight taxiways. And we snatch with the monitor tower. Uh, yeah, we could do that sometime. Honestly, I might just fly from. Uh, we'll, we'll fly some wind this summer. Power one one nine one four dot two two nine. Check out the airsoft CRJ. Um, if if one. Uh, if you want to give yourself a real challenge with the CRJ, absolutely. There's no auto throttle on the CRJ, right? And it has advisory in that. So if you want to give yourself a challenge, show up with the CRJ. I think there's bugs. I think there's still bugs on, on the actual plane itself, but I think it's, it's good enough if you want that challenge. If you try to you out to Changi, uh, I will never fly to Asia for North America. That would never happen. That's way too long of a flight. 
ID to get close. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably do some. We'll probably do some sun wing operations in the summertime when the weather's nicer. We'll probably do that. There's a plan anyway. Here, so it's just... Anyways, we've got clearance to land, uh, to mine up the way. Are you good with the callouts and flying? Practice. Uh, all of this blue sound is just practice. And in real life, keep in mind in real life, there's two pilots doing it, right? One's doing the ATC, one's actually flying the plane, right? But I'm doing both. For the media takeoff for 249. Alright guys, let's get out of here. Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec guys. I don't want to cause a go around here, so let's go guys. Once you're in our call it won't be fun. Alright, let's get out of here because there's a guy landing right behind me. So I wanna just I'm gonna cheat here. Okay, let's go guys. Let's get out of here. Your speed's alive. Your speed's alive, check. B1, rotate B2. My best takeoff, but whatever, guys. We'll take that. Um, yeah, in real life, mine was two pilots. I was right behind the plane, right behind the ATC, and we were both at the same time. Uh, so it is, it is hard to make this more fun, right? Uh, Alright, let's just see what you guys say. Do I bear roll? Uh, I will absolutely not do that. What's up, Airstead? 
I got bolted really bit last time when most of them yeah. I don't know what happened there. Before Mexico City, I have not know. She did that sometimes. She had Mexico City. Paddy, you want to do a barrel roll? Do it offline. If I did a barrel roll, ATC is going to ask me, what the hell are you doing? Um, and I'm going to say, oh, I'm doing a barrel roll. He's like, I'm not supposed to do barrel rolls on oh, that stuff. So that's what's going to happen. And they'll probably call to find that he's suspended a bit. So no, Paddy, we're not going to do a barrel roll. Do it offline. That's the most not the network. So on this flight, Toronto to Vancouver, five hours. I'll show you the outside of the plane, guys, just give me a second. What's your longest flight to Toronto to Vancouver in five hours? Uh, let's look at the outside of the plane, guys. Let's see where this is. Uh, where is that video, actually? Which view is it? Oh, there. Well, that's pretty cool, actually. That's a pretty cool view, actually. Ha ha ha, no, it won't be a ha ha ha, no, so. 
than that. Um, this match is I five pretty regular, interesting. Okay, I then I don't know why, but it's telling me an hour. It's telling me an hour. For Maybe because they're cheating. Bro, you don't sleep. Uh, I I would I think we Jackson though, would anyone want I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how we want to fight this. I might just find it. I might just find the which one fight back to the we'll see how this one dies.
What's the longest fight you've flown on myself by similar? Five hours. I can't really hear you too. What is that? You mean the engine sound or what? Because I can barely hear anything. You guys tell me. I rely on you guys to tell me how it sounds. Right? Are you telling me, are you saying my voice is too low or what? You know what we should do guys? We should uh, go, you know what we should do? We should go from Memphis to DCA. I can barely hear, oh, you can barely hear me. Playing is just loud on YouTube. Okay, so let me do this then. Uh, let's do this one. That's because on YouTube, I, it's, it's tough, like, let me try this, let me try this guys, uh, let's go to mic, to advance audio captions, here, we're going to go to mic, check, let's see what this is. Are we doing Europe today? Yeah, I thought, I, maybe we'll hop over to Europe after. Uh, was is that better on is that better on um, YouTube as well? It's tough because I'm streaming both platforms, so it screws up the volume. It has to be so screwed up the volume. Maybe what we'll do, guys, is go Memphis to DC. And you went down for that. How long is the flight from Memphis to DC? Actually, let's, let's take a look. Here. I, I suspect it's like two hours, so I don't know if I want to do that. Let's see. Memphis to DC is a uh, two-hour flight. Is anyone is anyone down for a two-hour flight into DCA? Or should we just go back to Atlanta? It was like Raleigh, not like Raleigh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Reagan and Tashville is actually really far. Right? Atomic combined. Yeah, we could do that better, Interesting. Uh, can you change the delivery company whenever you want on ground? Yeah, you can do whenever you want. Yeah, you can switch them whenever you want. Have you ever, have you ever do 7700 before? Uh. I think we have once. Uh, we did an emergency in Toronto or Landing Gear didn't work one time. Uh, so we have to land here in Toronto uh, a while back. Can't really hear you? Okay, I don't know. Okay, the plane is still very loud. The plane is still very loud. Really? It's that the plan is that loud? Okay, hold on a sec. Let me do this. Um Okay Jonathan, is this better? Jonathan, was this better? I just I bumped it down by thirty. Is, is that is does that sound better? All audio is good on TikTok, okay. Audio is good for you on TikTok, yeah. Okay, it's better, right? Okay, so I'll leave it there then. Uh, let me know if it's still quiet. I'll adjust it. I'll, I'll adjust it accordingly. You guys tell me. Give me feedback again. I split the audio legit this morning, um, just so I can sort of control some of the sounds individually. So I don't know if it's uh, gonna sound good, but uh, it's better. Okay. Do you want me to turn it down even more, Steven, or no? You tell me. 
Audio is good for me, yeah. On TikTok audio is good, right guys? No compl no complaints on TikTok, okay, right? Uh, all good, okay, all good on TikTok, okay. Yeah. You want me to turn it down even more? Okay, okay. Alright, alright. How about now? Is that bad? Is that better for you two? I cut, I turned it down almost hello, halfway. Atlanta Center. Hello. Is it at hey Carl. Hey, hey Vix. Welcome. Charlie All good on TikTok. Okay. Is it at yes. No okay. Really? It's that it's that loud on YouTube. Uh, That's crazy. It's perfect now. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll thank you. Thank you. Okay, so that's so interesting. I okay. You guys are the best. And guys, TikTok is good, right? TikTok is still good. Does, does anybody want to watch me actually do a two-hour? Does anyone actually want to watch me do a two-hour flight into DC from Memphis? Because I'll actually do it. If you guys are if you guys are down, I'll do it. Or should we just go from Atlanta to Memphis? Uh, should we go Atlanta to um, DC? What should we do, guys? We'll take a look at our options here. I'll give you guys some options. Our option for Memphis, we could go back to Atlanta. Uh, we could go. We could go to Jacksonville. We can go to um, DC, which I've actually never flown into DC before. Do bigger flights four hours? For yeah, but bigger flights are longer flights are boring though. Okay, we'll figure it out, guys. Let's land first, and then we'll take a look where we want to fly. Let's see that, guys. Delta Twenty Thirteen, contact Atlanta approach one two seven. Oh, that's not us. Contact Atlanta approach one two seven point nine. Delta seventeen fifty nine. Indianapolis Center offline. Red reserves is terminated. Frequency change crew. American three fifty two. Memphis Center is offline. Red reserves is terminated. Frequency change crew. Frequency change approved. American three fifty two. Have a good night. Is it? Have a good night. Still the daytime. Hello, FedEx one zero eight. The new flight level three three zero. FedEx one zero eight. Line up center. Stay position. Inbound to uh, Victor Uniform Division. FedEx one zero eight. Ident. Ident one zero eight. Let's go down ten thousand. Ten ten air four. Zed zero five sixteen. We'll like to say three one zero. I'm getting a uh, high old temperature at the moment. Delta 516, Roger, maintain follow 310. We're planning an airline? Uh, we are in the 737 800, um, flying Delta Airlines. I'm doing Toronto Fort Lauderdale right now, Air Canada, very cool, B, very cool. B, when are you going to drive me on VATSO? Wait, are you on Xbox? I totally forgot. I think you're, I think you're on Xbox, right? You see that? You see that? You see that? Like slight turbulence there? It's crazy. Look at that! Look at that plane shaking. Oof. Okay. We're shaking right now. Where's my engine? Nine? Yeah, I guess nine and seven. You were one by five. I barely heard you. Um. Uh, I think you might be on the wrong frequency. Have they published an official release date for 24? They have not JC Gales, unfortunately. It's probably going to be super buggy when it comes out, though. Not going to lie. 
Record 1020, I don't. Okay. I don't. I'm ready to play. Uh, 3024 is gonna be the altimeter right now, so. Let's check 516, the send via the Hobbit to arrival, line altimeter 3026. Okay. Hobbit 2, uh, go to Hobbit. American 1020 radar contact, 10 miles north of the Harris Mountain, uh, B1. Uh, Memphis is gonna be a... Right turn off the runway, okay. And let's just see terminal, where are we looking for? Delta 1830 contact, tactical center 135.9 or 2. You guys aren't kidding. Memphis is such a small airport, and there's so much, there's so much, uh, fed, there's so much cargo at Memphis. Look at that, oh my god, look at that. FedEx cargo has w way more gates than the actual terminal itself. That's crazy. Be fun. Let's be a right turn off. Yeah. What would you happen if you immediately the games and servers if you had an emergency or something? Uh, just dis uh, just disconnect then, Kieran. Uh, if you have an it happens all the time, right? So if you look, nothing would happen. Just disconnect, right? Nothing would happen. ATC sees it all the time. Um, okay, let's see what you guys have said. Do you think Vatsim will be good on twenty four right away? Twenty forty nine. I will. Center offline. Radar service change approval. Because change approval. See you soon. Thanks for service. Delta twenty forty nine. Thanks for flying. Okay, um, uh, it, it might be right away. My recommendation, GC Gales, is get on Game Pass. Um, that way it's free. The money on 20 and 24 will work cool. Yeah. I, I, I don't know the answer to that. They're, they're saying JC Gales that 90, like 99% of add-ons on 20 will convert to 2024. So I'm guessing the infrastructure, I'm assuming that the infrastructure is the same. So my answer would be Vatsim will probably work on 24 on release. That's my guess though. If every add-on is going to work, I'm pretty sure Vatsim is going to work. Uh, what would ha- yeah. Uh, can you A330 YYC to LAX? Uh, no. That's too long, Airstev. But what I will do is we'll fly, we'll fly the Concorde from YY- Oh no, YYC to LAX? That's what, that two and a half hours? Okay, yeah, we might do that then. We might do Calgary to LAX. I'm not doing Toronto to LAX. I've been asked that a bunch of times. Uh, but we are gonna fly the um, we're gonna fly the uh, Concorde from Toronto to LAX. Once I not today, no. I'm still learning the Concorde. Uh, it's a very very complex plane to learn. So I'm st and it's very manual to fly. So I'm still trying to figure out how to fly the Concorde properly. But once we know how to fly the Concorde properly, properly, we'll be doing like supersonic flights all the time. It'll be fun. We'll, we'll have fun with it. Okay. Uh, anyways, guys. Um, let's do our approach. Oh, didn't know that purchase plans would move over 24 up plus around 20 then. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, JC Gills, 100% the planes you purchase and add-ons will move over. That's for sure. Right? So, I, I'm thinking for sure that's will probably move over. I'm guessing the infrastructure from 20 and 24 are going to be the exact same. Or close enough. That's my guess. All right, guys. Let's do our approach briefing no, then. Not, uh, not let's do our five, approach five, briefing five, into Memphis then. So I'm gonna pull up the charts here and let's take a look, guys, at uh, what the charts say here. Okay, so we are gonna be taking the ILS three six left approach. Yeah, Dynasty. I gotta fly. I gotta do like Louisville to Memphis one time. What's the flight time for that? Because I gotta do some cargo ops from Louisville to to Memphis, that'd be so cool, the UPS hub to the um, to the FedEx hub, that'd be really really fun to do. So I'm gonna keep that in mind. But anyways, alright, so let's take a look at the Vans 3 RNAV arrival, so this is the arrival that we're taking into Memphis today. Uh, so we're gonna be coming in from Wazer, right, we're gonna come in from Wazer. Then at Cram, we gotta be uh, below flight level 230. Uh, Vans at two three oh, under two three zero. Mash at uh, fourteen thousand feet. Uh, Climber at ten thousand feet. Uh, so that's gonna be our original descent. I'm gonna bug this in for one one two point four. We'll bug this in for one one two point four actually. One one two point four. So let's do that. One one two four. Okay. 
Now I'm gonna turn this on here. Okay, cool. So that's gonna be our original descent. We're gonna aim for the Holly Springs uh, VOR uh, to start off. And then we'll continue our descent. We're expecting three six left today uh, into um, into Memphis. Uh, I I'm I'm guessing here based on this. I guess all of the I'm guessing that all of the um, arrivals all go here. Well, that actually doesn't make any sense. It says landing south runways 18 left center right. Expect greater vectors to final approach course after Heekson. Okay, so where is um. Let's take a look here. Hold on a sec. Um, let's just take a look here. Uh, Clemmer, Holly Springs VR. That's what we're aiming for right now. After Holly Springs, I guess you're going. I guess after Holly Springs, I'm going direct on on the approach right now. So, uh, let's double check this here then. So I'm gonna go here. Go Chuck Wazer E Race Cram Vans. That is correct. Uh, we'll go uh, Clemmer Vectors, then Weston, then Freeze, then Mace. Freeze, Mace, Cadis. Okay, so it just seems like after it just seems like after Clemmer, there just happens to be uh, direct to Weston. So if I look at the RNAV charts here again, guys, um, I guess if you're flying on the south runways, you would you would make this left hand uh, this right hand turn. Um, and then expect radar vectors, but because we're fun on the north runways, it's going to just after Clemmer, which is where's Clemmer? Where's Clemmer? I, I I saw Clemmer somewhere here. Oh yeah, Clemmer's right here. After Clemmer, right here, we're just gonna go straight on our ILS approach uh, into three six left. So that's how we're gonna fly this. Uh, hey, I bought the seven three seven eight, and it's very hard to use. Hashimi, it's because it's a study level aircraft, right? The 737 is the second best study level aircraft in Microsoft Flight Simulator after uh, the Phoenix A320. So, um, and and that said, the A3, uh, sorry, the 737 itself is a very old and manual plane to begin with. But it's a very, very good study level aircraft. Uh, once you learn how to fly it, it's very fun to fly. But again, it's, it is it is very difficult to learn. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, so after that, guys, we're going to go straight to Freeze, Maze, Cadis. So that is correct. We'll take a look at our weather right now. Um, I'll look at, look at our minimums here. So it says 521. I, I bugged in 521, so that should be fine. Um, landing elevation is 321, which is correct. So that makes sense to me. Um, what we'll also do, guys, is just take a look at the weather right now, just so we know what we're looking at here. Uh, so we'll go to weather, we'll go to ATIS. Uh, actually, no, we'll go to METAR. Uh, doesn't look like there's any winds right now in Memphis right now. Uh, actually, there is. It says it says two two zero zero seven gusting fourteen knots. Uh, two two. It says two two zero gusting fourteen. So I mean, there is a wind right here. Seven knot wind right now shouldn't be too bad. Big of a deal. Uh, right now, I think slight crosswind, but that should be fine here. Um, okay, so that's that. You think about thirty seconds? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna check where our top of the scent is actually. We should take a look at that. Oh, okay, our top of the scent is coming up here. It's fairly easy to operate without rider pedals. I have a Yoke Plus dollar, but won't get pedals. Is it fairly op is it fairly easy to operate without rider pedals? I have a Yoke Plus dollar, but won't get pedals. Uh, I agree. I don't think rider pedals are necessary, JC Gales. Uh, my my question then to you is how are you turning on the taxiways then? Like how are you taxiing without rider pedals? If you're if because most yokes so Hotas joysticks, they have a twist axis they can use as a rudder axis, but on yokes, they don't have that axis, right? So I don't know how you would actually taxi, um, you know, on a yoke per se, right? Without rudder pedals, unless you're using your keyboard, I guess you could use your keyboard for that. But then I would then say, how do you, how do you do like crosswind landings where you need rudder then? But I agree with you. Rudder pedals are completely unnecessary. They're only used for flight simulators. Uh, they have no other use outside of flight sims. So it, they are expensive too, and they have limited use case for them as well.
Okay. Let us in our load up 706 for, uh, so we are approaching on top of the set very soon. Do you only do live fights on Saturdays? No, Marshall. We were live yesterday. We were live yesterday. I, I stream like three days a week. Depends on sort of what my schedule looks like. My stick broke, and I have no rudders unless I buy some. I have to use buttons, which I'm not used to. Yeah, so my issue with buttons, Ryan, is... Be my issue with buttons is... The rudder is an axis, right? It's not like press one button. It's a smooth axis that turns, right? So that's why buttons are kind of difficult to use for Especially if you're doing a crossbow landing and you really need your rudders, you're going to have a bad time with buttons. That's my thought on it. Uh, that's messed the question. Yeah, so same so same thing, JC Gills. Um, my question would be back to you. Uh, how, how do you plan on turning on the taxiways and using your rudders? That's my question. You can use buttons, but again, it's an axis, right? It's an axis. It's not... Um, it's not a button, like it's not a setting, right? Like level 1, level 2, level 3, right? So you need precise movements with rudder So I would put that on to you. I know... It, yeah, I got a sick drip and it's really weird now. I hate using buttons. Yeah, seems about right. I signed up to Vatson because of doing my first fight when I get my PC. Sounds good, Jake. Sounds good. I uh, hope you enjoy, man. Uh, I have Flight Simulator, the Pro Series. I thought you go to all, all the airports to buy them. Uh, no, Microsoft Flight Simulator, you can fly to any airport you want in the world. What you're probably thinking about, Wicked, is the scenery. So you can fly to any airport in the world on Microsoft Flight Simulator, any simulator for that matter. Uh, but the scenery just won't look good unless it's custom scenery. And that's what you're probably thinking about, payware scenery. Right? The scenery you have to pay for. But we're starting at the top of the descent. Verify your, uh, you the we're going to start descent down into Memphis, Memphis now. So yeah, anyways, JC Gills, just to close that thought out, um, some yokes, they have like bumper pedals on the yoke, that, like my Velocity 1 yoke, for, for example, has bumper pedals that kind of work as rudders. If you really need to stuff it with it, you can. But I would say most yokes don't have a uh, button, that like an axis you can actually bind the rudders to. So you're just going to get very imprecise movements when you're using buttons to turn on the ground. You can fly a real plane, hundred percent. Which like a fly a real plane? All right, uh, just thought I'd uh, figure off. I'll find out about that. Thanks. Uh, we'll stick with where we are for now. Uh, Ten forty-six. Okay. Yeah, because again, uh, any commercial jet is just a button pressing simulator, right? As long as you know how to set up the flight management computer. So this thing right here is their flight management system, FMS, FMC, whatever you want to call it. As long as you know how to program your FMC properly, this is what's controlling the autopilot, right? So this is controlling the speed of the plane, the altitude of the plane, where the plane's flying. So as long as you can set up the FMC, um, you can fly commercial jet, uh, honestly, because 99% of flying commercial jets is flying the autopilot, right? And you guys have seen me. I flew the plane for all of about two seconds when we took off, and then turned the autopilot on pretty much immediately. Uh, yeah, that makes sense. Didn't you ever think about how it's all or nothing with buttons? Yeah, exactly, JC Gales. It's all or nothing with buttons. You can't, you won't get the in between axes. You'll either get like one extreme or the other extreme with buttons. Uh, I'm doing New York to Memphis. Very cool. Very cool. Maybe you'll see me there. Which I put in TikTok live chat and YouTube so people who watch on YouTube can see and know. Uh, that's a great idea, Steve. That's actually a phenomenal idea, Steve. Let me figure out actually how to do that. Let me figure out how to do that, actually. How to get TikTok chat on YouTube stream overlay. That's actually very cool. Yeah, let me look at that. How to get TikTok live... Um, how to get TikTok live gives follows in OBS. Okay. Uh, I'm taking a look at that. That's very cool. That's a really great idea, Steve. That's a really, really good idea. Uh, what questions are you asking? They're asking me if you can fly without rider pedals, and I'm saying you can. It just it's not gonna be fun doing so. What you can also do, uh, JC girls, I have a sketch. I have a sketchy way which I used to do this as well. Uh, what you could do is you could buy the cheapest Hotas on the market, which is the Logitech one, I think, for like uh, 50 Canadian, 30 USD, or whatever it costs, and just use that purely for its rudder. You could do that, and then you've got yourself a $30 set of rider pedals, and you have a backup joystick. That would be my alternative to doing that, right? Just disable all the other buttons and axes on a joystick, 
and just bind the twist axes to your rudders and then you can use that as your rudders on the side. That'd be the sketchy way of doing it. What happened to Malaysia Airlines 5370? Don't know. We're still trying to figure that out, guys. They're still trying to figure it out. I feel like this plane is descending way too slow. Honestly, for real, for real. This this not does not seem this does not seem right here. Uh I mean it looks right. So again, I because I set the set up the FMC properly, it's flying. It knows that, it knows by E race I should be at two hundred ninety knots, and uh, flight level two four zero, uh, and then by vans, it will bring me down to two eighty knots and two three zero. Right. So again, all the pilots doing all the work right now. Uh, I map. Thanks for the follow and Saeed, Thanks for the follow. Really appreciate you. welcome aboard, guys. Those joining us, we are landing in Memphis right now. I think I might just honestly turn the plane around back to Atlanta and then we'll go from there. I'm thinking that's what, I, I'm thinking that's probably what we're gonna end up doing. But if I had known this was cargo, Memphis was the headquarters of FedEx, I would have flown a cargo jet. We'll do that next time though. We'll, we'll do that again next time. Um, but again, I'm just checking the VNAV right here just to see the plane. The plane will go to cram at 290 knots, 230. In advance, it will be at 280 knots, 230. Um, on the flight level, and then a climber, it will be at 230 knots and 10,000 feet. So that's sort of how the plane thinks it's going to fly. So we'll see if it follows up. It should. Yeah, we will step away 10 minutes. Uh, you want us to switch over to the jack? Uh, that way, when we come back, we'll just report the jack. Black 55, uh, you have to on us to do the handle. Alright, no problem. Uh, me right now, putting TikTok for the chat, YouTube on the video. Yeah. Uh, Steven, you gotta be my guy then. You monitor both for me then. Is there any way to turn on turbulence? Wicked, it's live weather. I mean, you can turn off live weather and you can mess around with the like you can mess around with the wind settings yourself if you want. But if there's turbulence in real life, I'll see turbulence in the game, right? Uh, but as you can see right now, it is on, uh, it is on real time and it's on live weather right now. So whatever happens outside. In real life, is what's okay, happening in the simulator. Okay, I'm going to take the Memphis is offline for Chen Kriv today. All right, Memphis is offline. Over to Unicom 228. Have a good day. Air Canada 746 heavy. Canada 746 heavy. What is he flying? He's flying a 7. This guy's flying a 747 dash 8 in Air Canada. That's crazy. That's that's pretty cool. Well, I mean, it looks like the VNAV profile is correct. Yeah, it looks like the... 636, Alliance Center, good afternoon. Climb Kim, Potable 330. Final of Hoshi is going to be 142 knots. Contact Alliance Approach, 127.9, good day. 27.9 for a double 706. Pretty fast, actually. That seems pretty fast. Hey, where are we going? Uh, Isen. Um, we are going to Memphis right now. Uh, I play on Xbox, I think on PC it's a lot better. Yeah, it's a lot better. A lot, lot better, Wicked. Like, playing on Xbox, flight simulator on Xbox, it's like... I don't know, what's, what's the comparison I'm trying to think of? It's night and day anyways. It's it's night and day. I think if you're on Xbox, it's more of a game. If you're on PC, it, you can use it as more of a simulator, if that makes sense. So it really depends. Are you looking for a casual experience or are you looking for a realistic experience? And I think that is the distinction between Xbox and PC. But again, I highly recommend if you're, if you're passionate about aviation, passionate about flight simulator, 100% uh, advise getting the PC for sure. You can put mods on PC. Uh, it's not just the mods, it's just most most peripherals aren't going to work on Xbox. So you're using your Xbox controller to fly the plane, which is like really weird, right? It's better than using the keyboard and mouse to fly the plane, but it's I think it's close to being pretty bad there. Yeah. It, does the Turtle Beach one work on uh, Xbox? I assume it would, right? I have the exact same one, but I'm probably gonna return it to be honest with you. I'm gonna, I'm probably gonna return my Turtle Beach and and just sell out for the um, I'm gonna sell for the uh, Boeing TCA yoke. Cause that thing looks really, really cool, and uh, and the people have said it's, it feels really real to the real, like a real Boeing plane. So I might just hold out for that, wait for a sale on that, and get that. Yeah. 
I I don't know. Wait, I don't. What do you think about the center D10 wicket? How long have you had your How long have you had your turtle beach for? Because for me, the roll of the plane is fine. My issue with that yoke is that the pitch is terrible. Especially when I'm flaring, you can't flare properly because of the center detent on the yoke. It sticks way too much for me. Like it sticks way too much. That's that's literally my only gripe with that turtle beach one is that it sticks. The center detent sticks while uh, pitching up. Other than that, I think it's it's a great it's a great yoke for sure. Okay, I'm gonna set our altitude down to maybe five thousand feet here. So it's a 5,000 here. Uh, I have no uh, problems yet, but I know what you're talking about. Descent is yeah. pretty bad, yeah. But, so Wicked, that's my point, right? I mean, look, I'll be honest with you. That Dacho Beach, the, the quality of life on that thing is phenomenal. I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a video review of my Turtle Beach next week. Um, I think the buttons are phenomenal. The the throttles, I think, is the throttle quadrant is great. The roll feels really great. But the most important thing about the yoke, about any yoke, is the pitch and the pitch on that thing sucks it's so it's so imprecise okay, sure three, on the pitch and so that's my like that's i don't care about all the fancy bells and whistles on that thing but if it can't do the basic function of a yoke which is to pitch up and pitch down i don't know what the point of it is right i just want something that i can turn and it actually works properly Is it having you do a north to south? North to south dynasty. North to south. Landing the three sixes, which I assume is north, right? Is, is that correct? Because I'm looking at the charts, it's saying that the 18s are south, I'm guessing. So I'm assuming the 36 are north, right? All right, I don't need the vector because they're not available. You, your map had it look, had it look, yeah. So it's set on the it's set on the charts right here. It's set on the charts here. I'm just looking at the charts. It's saying that landing south runway is 18 left, center right, expect radar vectors. So I'm assuming on the 18th it's south, and on, on the um, on the 36s it's north. But we can take a look here again. Uh, let's see this, let's see. In which direction am I flying? Or, no, but it looks like I'm flying south to north here. We're landing south. We're landing south to north, right? Yeah. Stream MLB the show sometime. Uh, I mean, I can. I can, Jeffrey, but I, I, I... I, I'm a bit of a sweat when it comes to MLB The Show, right? So when I'm playing MLB The Show, it's usually on ranked, and I'm trying to win. So I don't know if I could stream and actually competitively play MLB The Show at the same time, <laughs> to be honest with you. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so what I need is... Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is... Well, we're gonna go into our legs page. I'm gonna go direct to Weston because there is no ATC on uh, right now. So we'll do that. Then. Okay, so we'll connect that. And I'm gonna switch frequency over to switch over to 119.7. I think it's CTAF frequency here. CTAF frequency is 119.7, which it is. Okay. This is the game you played in stream? It's the only game I'll stream, Northside. We were just talking, I do play other games, but I'm not going to stream other games, right? Because I don't think that's interesting. You guys can see right here. See, we're right on descent profile right now. There's no terrain, right, in Memphis? I mean, I, I guess there's like hills here, which is what this is showing me. So hills, let's see. Yeah, I guess there's hills here and there. But doesn't seem like any serious uh, terrain here. We're waiting for this Holly uh, VOR, which is this right here. After we pass this, we're gonna turn uh, left slightly and to start our approach into, into Memphis. 
So I'm just watching this right now. Not much, LOL. You can see the Mississippi River. Uh, where's the Mississippi River Dynasty? That's so cool. I didn't you can see the Mississippi River. Where is it? I never can fly in Europe because it's always dark when I usually do a lot of time when I get home to play. Yeah, Wicked, I when I fly in Europe, I just pull the time back because I can't. I'm the same with you. I can't stand playing um, at 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 dark time. It's, it's difficult for me to see. Close to landing, it'll be on your left, I believe, based on your direction. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good, Dynasty. Does the 7378 come with a manual guide so you can learn everything? Yeah, it does. I It does come with a... I'm pretty sure it comes with a PDF manual. I think I have it. Uh, actually, I think it even shows up on here. Is it here? Okay, maybe it's not... Uh, da -da -da, where is it? Yeah. Anyways, it does come with a. T anyways, it's a very well-known plane. So if it, I'm pretty sure has a P, I'm pretty sure I've seen the PDF document, the manual for it. But if not, there's a bunch of guides online because this plane is such a popular plane to fly. So there's 100% guides here. Uh, there's 100% guides. Again, flying um, Boeing planes are much more manual if you're used to Airbuses. Um, flying the CRJ is even more manual than flying the uh, 737. I had my king for months, and I've not had the plane plan properly yet. Yeah, it, some some planes aren't are just gonna be like that. Anyways, guys, let's turn on our landing lights here. So we'll turn on our uh, we'll turn that on. We'll turn this on. Okay, we'll turn seatbelt signs are going on. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of the VOR. I guess I. Don't uh, I guess I'll keep it. I guess I'll keep this right now. I'm gonna arm our uh, I'm gonna arm our uh, spoilers here as well. Okay. I'm gonna check the local pressure too, just to make sure three zero two two now. Okay, so the altimeter right now is 3022. Good to know. Uh, let's just see here. The real ADIS in real life um, is 3022. That's correct. Simultaneous visual approaches in use 18 centimeters departure, 18 right. Guys, they're landing on the 18s right now in real life. Should I switch over to the 18s? I guess I should, right? Okay, I'm gonna switch over to the 18s here. Okay, so what we'll do, guys, is we'll go to departure arrival. We'll go to Memphis. Um, okay, so let's see. Uh, how, oh god, I can't believe they switched the runways over. Uh, let's shoot for 18. Uh, I'm gonna just check here. Let's shoot for 18. Uh, let's shoot for 18 right then. Let's go 18 right then. ILS 118 right. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna go here. Oh guys, I don't like when they do this to me. Okay, 18 right. I'm just gonna check here, 18 right to Dawson. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll go... Uh, we won't go direct to Dawson. Uh, let me go here, let me go 18 right, Dawson. Um, on the uh, waster transition, guys, 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 what's going on here? Okay, uh, we're gonna go direct to HLI. Where is HLI? We'll go direct there. Okay, we'll put that there. Bring that there. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do is reduce down to four thousand feet here. Okay, uh, and then I'm going to change my frequency here, so we're going to be on 18 right, which is 109.9, 1099, final approach course is going to be 180 degrees. Okay. 
Okay. All right. Um. Okay. So they just flipped the wrong ways over. So let me take. Let me rebrief this here. Let's figure this out for a sec. Uh, winds are going to be two two zero at seven, gusting up to fourteen. Uh, our minimums now are going to be at uh, uh, our ILS now is going to be four ninety five. So we can bug this into four ninety five. Okay. I'm going to turn off terrain. Let's just see this here, HLI, HII to LaRue, to Flan, to Suzy, to Mibi, to Hatso, to Hexen, Vectors to Dawson. I'm going to go direct to Dawson. Okay, let's see that. And then I'm going to turn VNAV back on, which is not going to work. Yeah, that's fine. We'll turn that off. We'll fly two, three, and zero knots. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, and then I'm gonna go vertical speed mode. For like nine. A hex and I should be at three thousand basically. So we'll descend down to three thousand. Okay. Sorry guys. Uh, they flipped the runways the other way so I just have to reset everything I uh, where do you see weather forecast on FMC I don't I have it on my other screen um, I, I'm looking at Navigaps is telling me what the live weather is uh, do you have a preference for ILS or RNAV or no preference I prefer ILS I don't do RNAV unless I have to anyways guys sorry about that we uh, you guys saw there I was planning for 3-6 left then they, f they they in real life they flipped the runways over so we're landing on the one eights now. So we're gonna we're planning for the one eight now as well. So I'll show you guys on the charts what I was looking at here. See, so he says three six left is no longer in use. So we have to change this to one eight right. Okay. So this is how we're flying right now. So we're we've just passed Holly Springs VOR. We're gonna go La Rue to um, Flound to Susie to Mibi to Hatso to Hexen. Uh, and then after Hexen, we're gonna we're gonna um, then make a turn here onto the ILS. What company do you enjoy flying our own game? Uh, depends where I'm flying the world, right? Okay. Alright guys, let's um, look carefully here. Right, because I'm not gonna fly, for example, I'm not gonna fly Delta in a domestic UK flight, right? For example, for as an example. Oh, why my VNAV isn't working? It's so weird. Altitude int. That's not gonna work. Okay. We'll just do that then. Just do that. That's fine. I don't know why my VNAV isn't working. It's probably because I, I messed around with something in here. Check altitude target. Ah, see, this is why. It's because it thinks I should be at a... Yeah. That would make sense. Okay, we'll go down to 6,000 then. Why don't we just bug it for like 6,000 here? So. Yeah. Set to five thousand. Then I will change. That's fine. The the airport's right here. It's you guys can see the airport's right in front of me. Where is it? It's like right here. Why don't I see it? I think I see in the distance. The airport's somewhere right here in front of me. I'm just gonna turn here so we can flip around.
Four minutes ago? Yeah, about four minutes ago. I think that's everything. Uh, let's just see where we are. <laughs> it's because I'm way too uh, low, that's why. I think that's why my uh, being that isn't working, but that's fine. We'll just sit at 5,000 feet here. It's fine. We'll just sit at 5,000 feet till head, so... And then by, uh, and then by, um, Hexen we should be check out target. Yeah, yeah, I heard you the first two times. Okay, yeah, that should work. Now VNAV should work. There you go. Okay. So now VNAV should work till 3000. Yeah, see, now, v now VNAV is working. No approach frequency at Memphis? No, unfortunately not. What's your best 90 in a feet per minute? Like 90, 94. There you go. See, now VNAV is working. It's because I was like messing around with auto out, like manual altitudes. It didn't know what was flying. Uh, but we're good now. Uh, we're downwind right now. Uh, basically, I'll just call in, guys. Memphis traffic Delta 2049. We are left downwind for the ILS 18, right? Memphis. Okay. On uh, what airplane? Uh, I think it was the I. It was a, It was the Boeing 737. I think it was a Boeing 737. See now, see now it's gonna show. Now it shows correctly here. See that? So, I guess because I was just having, I was messing around with it too much. But you can see the runway. You guys can see the runway is right there. It's right to the left of us. So if I turn right there, you can see us. Yeah, so there you go. There's the airport right there. What plane you find? The 737. It's right there. Airport's right there. So we're just turning the plane around. Should do a high tech landing. I mean, I could. Do you guys want me to? I'll, dis I'll disengage the pilot right now and do a visual. We can't hear ATC talking. There's no ATC online. That's why. Rivers off in the distance. Yeah. Should we do it, guys? For fun? Should we just do a high tech landing? I won't do that, though. I won't do that. Maybe. I mean, maybe we could. And my issue is because we were too high up. If we were lower, if we were at like 3,000 feet right now, I would probably disconnect the alpine and visual it in. Oh, you mean actually land a kite tech. Okay, I thought you meant to do like a wild last minute turn to intercept the runway. Rivers in the distance. Very cool. Okay. Double check our approach speeds here. Short approach, power off 180. Yeah. I mean, I could. We, if, if an emergency happened, I could do it. Okay, wait for it. Uh, let me just check the charts here for 1-8 right. Uh, 2,000 feet by Elvis. By Elvis, it should be at 2,000 feet. Okay, so I'll set this to... So to, nah. nah, we'll just keep it. We'll keep it at um, we'll keep it at three thousand. It's fine. Where is K Man Memphis? Which is in Tennessee. Apparently, I learned. What's the capital of Tennessee? Wait, do American states actually have capital cities? I'm gonna say yes, they do. So, oh, it's Nashville. The capital city of Tennessee is Nashville. Interesting. Okay. I could probably vector myself in, guys, to be honest, but I don't trust myself when I vector myself. Have you, do you have your phone KLM before I have? Are you from Tennessee? Because you're the only 10 I see. Yeah, it's funny. Atlanta is Georgia's capital. Yep, that I knew. T what Tennessee's capital is Nashville?
I could honestly cut right here. Guys, I'm gonna do this. Stop man, remember me? I do. Okay. See, if I cut right- if I cut right here, I guarantee it's gonna screw up the- it's gonna screw up the autopilot. I guarantee you. Uh, I'm gonna do something that- uh, I was gonna do something that I didn't mean for it to do, so... Let's see, let's see. Hold on a sec. Okay, when I get down to 3,000 feet, I'll cut. Let's do that. Uh, I'm gonna go direct to... Braille. So let's see this, guys. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I should be able to cut. What aircraft is this? The 737-800. You know what? I'm gonna execute. Let's cut. Let's cut right here, guys. Memphis traffic, Delta 2049. We're turning uh, left face for the ILS-18 uh, right Memphis. Do you have a Canada? Yep, yeah, that's correct. Okay, I'm gonna activate. Uh, I'm gonna activate the localizer here. So you see, it's activated right now. So what we'll do is I'm gonna start interventing the speed here. We'll go 200 knots. Put two flaps. So put some flaps down. Okay guys, uh, I cheated here, but we should be good. Uh, let me check how we're getting off the runway then. Um, let's see, how are we getting off this runway? Uh, we're getting off the runway on the left side now. And the terminal should be right there. There's only one terminal uh, for uh, commercial planes. Most of this is actually cargo, which is very interesting to see. Reduce down to 190 knots. I mean, Calgary, very cool, Airstate. Very, very cool. We, uh, we fly in Calgary a lot. I love flying in that. I love flying in Calgary. Go down to 5 here. What plan do you find? The 737 800. Oh no guys, I goofed. Guys, uh oh. Oh no, I should be good. No, no, I'm good, I'm good, good. It says to be a braille at 3000 feet. Okay, it should be good because you can see the diamond is right here. So I'm too low right now on the profile, which is a good thing. Okay, I thought I screwed up there. See, this is why I don't vector myself, right? Because when I vector myself, I get, I, I get snarky. And then this kind of, this happens. Okay, but we're on the we're on the we're on the we're on the path right now. We're good. I thought I cut too early there, but uh, we're fine. I'm gonna reduce down to one eight zero knots here. In that case, uh, yeah, one four two. That's correct. Should uh, so you can see right here. Once it gets to braille, you see right here, once it gets to braille, it's gonna intercept the glide slope and localizer. So you see this right here, guys, on, um, you see this right here? This pink line, my, I'm fine, the white line, once it hits this purple lot, this pink line, it should start descending me down. So we'll see what happens. There we go. Here we go, wait, wait for it, wait for it. There we go, see, captured it, done. Okay, we're established. Perfect. See if I can see the runway. Nope. I cannot. Radio altimeter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's over here. It's has to turn me still. Yeah, okay, the runway is right there. I think. Is it? Okay, I can't even see where the ru oh oh the runway is right here. Okay, I do see it. You guys see that? The runway is right there. It's kind of foggy. That's why I think I can't see. All good. I'll put some more flaps down here. Reduce speed to one seven zero knots. How long does flight take? Hour ten minutes. How much fuel do I have? I still have uh, three point six uh three point six tons of fuel left. Caleb, what's up? We're landing. Uh, that is what's up, guys. All right, we'll put the gear down. Okay. 
Fuse down. Put some more flaps down. It's still kind of hard to see. Where's your fuel ga gauge located in the cockpits right here? My fuel is right here. Downtown to your right? Okay, let's take a look to my right side. Where is downtown? Right here? This is downtown Memphis in the river. So we'll take a look. Very cool. Okay, I'm gonna reduce speed down to one four seven. Jack flaps all the way down to full here. Full one four six. Okay guys, let's do our landing checklist then. We have speed brakes are armed, auto brake is on, flaps are full right now, landing gear three greens will ding the cabin here as well. Okay, and uh, our landing checklist is complete guys, so let's put this plan down. Ooh, 15 knot crosswind, okay. Alright, my aircraft guys, let's have some fun flying this. No papi lights, okay. Approaching minimums. Two hundred. Minimums. Ninety. Okay, alright, we'll crap it a bit here. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Hey, rudder cracked it. Ten. All right, versus green. Okay, versus still. Take the next exit here. You use the HUD, yeah, but what's the point? What's the point of using the HUD, right? Hey guys, welcome down to Memphis. Uh, decent crosswind landing, actually. I was happy. With, I'm happy with that rudder correction. That was that was good. And that's why you guys need rudder pedals, right? So you can do stuff. You can do stuff like that. Yeah. Again, kind of a dicey. You you saw how it was pushing me off the runway, uh, center line. But we're good, guys. We're good. Tough with no puppies. Yeah. That's why. That's what I was saying. I guess this. I guess the scenery just doesn't have puppy lights, so it was kind of hard to judge how high I was. But we're good. We're good, guys. Alrighty. Uh, how do we get to the terminal now? Let's talk about how we get to the terminal here. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do is we'll put this up there. Put this to zero. Okay. Turn all break off. Okay. I'm going to turn off my, uh, turn this off, turn that, I'll start the APU, I'm going to turn off my strobe lights, okay, and we can go back to there. I was happy with that landing, guys. I, I didn't, I forgot to turn on the replay, but it doesn't really matter because I think we just turned the plane around anyways. Uh, it seems like there's only one terminal here for um, commercial flights, like passenger flights in Memphis. So we'll just go to the one terminal here. Uh, if anyone's from Memphis or has flown out of Memphis, let me know if the scenery is accurate. I always ask you guys. We're on taxiway November right now. Uh, the terminal should be right up, up ahead, which it is. Uh, I'm gonna go up here. We'll turn that on. Okay. 
Mint ez a te. Uh, just one terminal for right now for remodel. Where was the other terminal then? W was there a sec was there used to be a second terminal at Memphis or was there always just one? Just yeah. Any preference on gates, guys? Does anybody have a preference on what gate we'll take, or should we just take any gate here in the terminal? Uh, we'll, we'll turn it off here. They're doing expansion and remodel. It was a Y shaped, now one is, par one is partly closed off. Yeah, I see the Y shaped right now. Do you want me to park inside the Y then? Or outside the Y? I'll show you the. Sure, why don't we have some fun guys? Let's uh let's park in the Y let's park in the Y. Make it more fun. Or scenic. I'm gonna park at one of these gates here. Uh, sure. Let's park at gate. Let's aim for gate eleven. I'm gonna aim for gate eleven here. Hey guys, well welcome to the terminals. Uh, so we're looking for gate nine. Uh, so we're looking, for, we're looking for gate eleven, which should be this guy, right? It should be the second gate from the end. So let's just see here. Should be this. It should be this one here. This is the game we want. Cool. Make sure that I'm straight here. Uh, we'll park our way. Here, I guess. Yeah. Cool. Let's see if the jet bridge works. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna turn the engines off. Uh, I'm gonna go into FS actions here. We'll go to FS actions here. We'll go to ground services. We'll put the wheel chocks in. We'll request the jet bridge. We'll request ground power. There we go. Okay, so the jet bridge does work. Can you play this game on regular PC or does it have to be a game PC? You can play on regular PC, it's just not going to perform- It's extremely graphic intensive, so you're just going to lag and have a really really bad time. Like I had an old gaming PC that would play better than your average PC and it lagged really really bad. So, I mean, yes you can- short answer is yes you can play, but you just have a bad time with the, with the lag and everything. Like, it's not going to be a good time. Okay, um... Let's go get some baggage loaders here. We will uh, get the fuel truck in. We'll get the lavatory in as well. Uh, and we'll get some food. That's the part that's just down on your screen. Yeah. We're in the Y right now. This guys, welcome down to Memphis. Uh, shall we turn the plane around? Let's turn the plane around, guys. 
Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna refile the pipe plan here. Uh, let me do this here. Uh, we're gonna go up here. I'm gonna turn ground power on. I want to turn the AP off so we don't waste batteries. There, we'll turn the we'll turn that off. Um, we will turn that off. We'll leave those off. We'll close the fuel pumps here. We'll turn off that. Uh, and we'll turn off this. Turn that on. Okay, cool. So we're ready to turn this plane around, guys. My game crashed on final after 5 hours. Oh no, Ryan. Oh no, that's always a bad... I'm curious to see if it's actually mod- I'm curious to see if the- I'm curious to see if the interior is actually modeled. Let's take a look. Cool. Is this what Memphis Airport actually looks like in real life? Gate 1 to 9, restrooms. Very cool. Okay. Very accurate. That was accurate dynasty. Very cool. Very cool. Alright. Um, I'm going to this I'm gonna just for that sim. Uh, I'm going to file our flight plan here. I'm gonna file a new flight here, so we'll go Delta we'll Delta Men Memphis to Atlanta. Uh why don't we be Delta two three six three? So let's be Delta two uh Two, three, six, three. Okay. So I'm gonna just go here. We'll go here. I'm gonna flip that around. Delta two, three, six, three. Okay. So there's that. The AL two, three, six, three. We are departing from K Memphis, and we are gonna arrive in Atlanta. Just gonna double check if we wanna fly to Atlanta. We do wanna fly into Atlanta, so we'll. Flying to Atlanta in the 737800. Okay. Let me config. Okay, cool. Alrighty, guys. Can you see the inside of the plane? Yeah, you can. Afternoon, afternoon. Welcome, welcome. Uh, yeah, I can, I can see the inside of the plane. You guys want to see? I mean, you guys want to see what the inside of the plan looks like? Sure, we take a look. I'm pretty sure it's modeled. I'm pretty sure this is modeled. Yeah, there we go. This is what the inside looks like. Okay, um... Coolio, so let me pre-file this on the network, guys. Okay, uh, flight level 350, that's fine. We'll file that flight plan. We will reconnect here. Delta 2363. Okay, connect to that. Uh, let's just see what it's telling me here. It's telling me squawk 1011. So we'll squawk 10. Squawk 1011. Okay. 125. Five, seven, five. Okay. Awesome. Uh, I'm gonna just go here. We'll go to flights. We'll unload that. We'll reload this. We'll load this. Okay. So, let's uh, give me twenty seconds, guys. I'm just gonna quickly grab a drink of water. Uh, actually, no. Let me let me set the plan first, and then I'll go grab my drink of water. But um. Let's set the plane, guys. Uh, so we are going to be taking. Uh, we're going to be departing off runway one eight center. Uh, it seems like we're departing off on runway one eight center. So what we'll do is we will go to init ref here. Uh, actually, we'll go here. We'll go to FS actions. We'll go to fuel first. And let's see what our fuel is today. It's going to be six zero six zero eight nine. And then payload, uh, we're gonna put like 1,500 in the front and we'll put 1,017 in the back. Sure, that works for me. We'll go to FMC right now. Um, we'll go to our init ref page here. So we're gonna use 6.1 fuel today. Uh, let me refetch this. 
cost index today is going to be 7 on the return flight back. Reserve fuel is going to be 3000, so 3.0. 0. Zero fuel weight is going to be 54.3. Uh, cruising altitude is going to be 3500 uh, today, so we'll execute that. We'll go to our route page now. Uh, we can see what our origin is. Our origin is going to be Memphis. So KMEM. -E Turn off runway 18 center. Destination is going to be back to Atlanta. So we'll do the return flight back to Atlanta. So K A T L. Okay, flight number today is going to be Delta 2363. Okay, cool. So now we can go to our likes pages. Uh, we'll go to departures arrival. Uh, how long is the flight from Memphis to Atlanta? An hour twenty. If you import from Sibis, it all fills in for you. Um, you can't do that on um, you can't do that on the PMDG. I mean, you can, but you have to download the Simbri file, then move into the PMDG folder, and then import it, which takes way too much time. And plus, I think it's good practice. I think it's good practice, anyways, to know how to properly film the FMC, regardless. Uh, but yeah, I'm just I don't want to I don't want to drop a bunch of files and clutter my entire uh, PMG folder with like flight plans. So that's the reason I'm not doing that. Okay, uh, so let's go with departures today. We are going to be at one eight center. We are taking the uh, BB King Seven departure. Uh, Kermi transition, okay. And then into Atlanta, we'll just take a look here at Atlanta. I'm gonna plan for it. doesn't. Actually, it won't even. Uh, eh, you know what? We'll do it. Why not? Let's just do it right now. Uh, they are arriving on two six left, two seven left, or two eight. So there's three airports, three runways that they're uh, flying on right now. I don't want to mess with it. Uh, does it matter which runway I take? Two seven. Let's just see. Two seven. You know what? I'm just gonna plan for two seven left. Let's just do that. Mm. No, I don't like that. It doesn't actually matter for arrival. My issue is because I need to put in my arrival. Anyways, we're going to be on the Glavin 1 arrival regardless. Uh, so that shouldn't really matter. Yes, you can watch some videos. They, update, they updated it. Really? You can you can just import directly from Simbrief now? Okay, but how, do I just press an import button? Because if it's an import button, I'll do it. Memphis traffic, FedEx Go 45, heavy, 20 miles from Nesbitt, inbound to the ILS 36 Center approach. 36 Center, they're finally one eights right now. Anyways. Alright, routes. Let's go our routes here, we'll go to our legs page. Okay, so we'll go via Kermi, then direct to H-U-T-C-C, H-U-T-C-C, okay. Um, and then after we'll go to K and Sol. K and S A W. Uh, and then we're gonna go to Rasa, Rusa. I still feel like I should plan for an arrival one way or another. You know what? Let's just plan for the two seven left arrival here into Atlanta. Whatever. Uh, let's go two seven left arrival. Uh, let's see how I want to fly this. Two seven left arrival, Roma. Sure. Uh, two seven left via Rom, and we'll take the Glavin one arrival, Russia transition. Okay, so if I go to my legs page, we'll see if this makes sense here. Russa, Jackson, Maddox, Glavin. Are these references? Uh, anyone from Atlanta? No time doing it now, but watch on your off time, yeah. 
Uh, guys, is this a reference to the Atlanta Braves? I'm a huge baseball fan, so I'm guessing that Maddox and Glavin are referring to um, Atlanta Braves legend pitchers Greg Maddox and Tom Glavin. That's my guess. If anyone actually knows if that's what those waypoints are actually named after. But I'm pretty sure, like, I'm pretty sure that that would be. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Alright, um, okay, so likes page is done. Go over to our FMC here, I'll request some new sim brief data, we'll go into performance tool, we'll import, we'll import, we'll import, uh, we'll calculate 136, 136, 140, okay. So we'll go 136, 136, go flaps 5, we'll go 136, 136, 140, whoops. Zero. They must. It's like MCO where they name waypoints of the decent characters. Yeah. That they do. Okay. Um, let me put my center of gravity in here. So we'll go into here. 22.9. Uh, okay. Next, what we're going to do is just look at the charts for our departure. So, on 1.8 center, it says, Climb on heading 1.8.0 to inter intercept course 1.6.1.2 ribs. Then, okay, so we'll set direct, whoops. We'll set it to 180 as our initial uh, altitude here. Okay, 180, and then intercept course 161 to ribs, then depict the route to uh, BB King. So let's just see here, ribs, where's ribs? Ribs to BB King. Okay, so that's correct. Uh, and it says maintain 5,000, expect clearance, uh, uh, expect clearance to fall out within 10 minutes of departure. So we'll set this to 5,000 then. Set this to 160. We'll arm that. We'll go up here. We'll open our fuel pumps here. We're down low on the plane here. I'll turn that. Okay. I'm gonna start the APU. Go 350. Then airport elevation is gonna be 1,000 feet into Atlanta. Okay, I'll get rid of the I'm gonna just bug this in right now before I forget. So. Static, FedEx still 45 turning right downwind inbound to the ILS 360. Uh, they're on the wrong, you're on the wrong, you're on the wrong runway, buddy. Up the around. Okay. Uh, uh, we'll go... Okay, cool. All right, guys. Uh, I'm done setting up the plane, so I'm gonna quickly grab a drink of water, guys, and then uh, let's uh, let's get this party started. How's that sound? Shall we shall we push back? Uh, give me guys twenty seconds here.
All right, guys. Shall we push back? Let's push back. Uh, let's let's push this uh, bad boy back here. Alrighty, guys, let's push this plane back. I'm just gonna just check which way we're gonna push back here. Uh, let me just see where we are. Uh, I'm looking for 1-8 center. I guess it doesn't really matter which way we push back. I Actually, it does. Okay, so let's push back this way. So I'll pre-plan the pushback. I'm gonna push back. Memphis like, still mile I'm gonna push back like here. Sketchy, but we'll do that, guys. Let's push back here. Press the pushback. Okay. I'm gonna go up here. We'll turn the APU bleed is going on. We'll turn on the APU generators are going on. Okay. You can see. And then I will go over to here, we'll go over to menu, we'll go to FS actions, we'll go to ground services, we'll remove the chocks. Okay. Let's get all of this. How many flights did you do? Just one leg? We're doing the return flight back. So we're just waiting for all the ground services to just... Still 45, 3 mile, 3 six So the whole day, this is your second flight, yeah. You use GSX Pro? No, I don't use GSX. It bugs out at very small airports, which is why I don't like it. Uh, and it's just, it's such a pain in the ass to set up. My opinion, I know people have said it's easier, but it just... GSX, it just, it's such a pain to deal with, right? I get a headache enough already with with my scenery. I don't want to add more. Yeah, she said. And the other thing is, we don't probably deboard the plane anyway, so for me, then. Okay, uh, let's uh, push back, shall we? So let's push back here. I want to release the parking brake. Okay. Release the parking brake. Oh, shoot. Hold on a sec. Hold it. This thing is bugged out. Let, let this guy. Let my, uh, why is this thing? Well, the cargo stairs, yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, there we go. There you go, okay. We're good, we're good. Okay, now we're good, guys, let's go. <laughs> let's get out of here. At this time, in just a few moments, we'll be showing Do you say Barrier 175? No, unfortunately. Once the video has concluded, we'll be in the aisle to answer any questions you have before we're seated for taxi out. Okay, I'm gonna turn Again, my anti-collision so each today. wing my lights are going off. For uh, we'll... Month. Charles in the economy cabin. We do welcome you aboard. Okay. I'll we'll go class five. We think our world feels smaller when you get out in it. Memphis service for next two or three clear runway three six center. Work each day. How'd you get the cabin Take call outs? Luke Air Tools. Was an actual lady speak? No, it's just my adult. How are you? Hey aviator, welcome. I'm doing good, but we're just doing the return flight back to uh, at to uh, Atlanta. Luke Air Tools, Luke L U K E, Luke Air Tools. Switch over to which I could take off. Of amazing differences. Is this the actual Delta safety video, guys? I don't remember this one. Does anybody know? And link us each to another. Whoever you are. Wherever you're going, we are proud to fly you there. Memphis because the first step towards connection hey. is departure. We'll go there. Welcome aboard, and thanks for flying with Delta. Our first priority on every flight is the safety of our customers and crew. So, before we depart, please Should we get pay visual? attention to this important safety message. Be sure that all carry-on items are securely stowed okay. in an overhead bin. So that place smaller items, including handbags, under the seat in front of you. If you lose your electronic device, why are, you, why are these buildings so depressing? Is this what Memphis actually looks like? Come on, that looks kind of... Where's all the windows? As we leave the gate, make sure your seatbelt is fast. This is a safety the video, right, Dave? The metal tip this is the, the Delta safety video? So it's low and tight across your lap. 
to release the belt, just lift the top of the buckle. If you're seated in the business class cabin, secure your shoulder harness by attaching the metal tip to the fitting on the belt. To release, remove the metal tip and allow the shoulder harness to retract. Please remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened anytime. Very cool. Memphis is sketchy, yeah. That's why I thought. Please keep your seatbelt fastened in case you experience. All right, taxi lights are going on. Runway turnoff lights are going on. Pro Peter, Pro Pete is going on. Um, we're gonna turn our engine generators on. APU is going off. APU is going off. Packs are going to the auto position. Um, okay. Disabling or destroying a restaurant smoke detector. There are eight exits on this plane, eight doors. Four Memphis four traffic, five. Delta 2363. We are taxiing to runway Just 8 center via Tango Charlie. However, Memphis. If there's a loss of power and cabin visibility is reduced, lights are ready, guys. The Let's get out of here. Luke Please Air Tools is free. Yeah, it is free. I told you. I bought the free add-on. I don't you I don't pay for add-ons, right? Just scenery. Complaints. Keeping in mind the nearest exit might be behind you. In the event of an evacuation, leave all carry. Alright, let's just check our tools. Uh I'm gonna just disable that. Okay, let's just check here. Left, right, forward, backwards, rudder left, rudder right, toe brake. Nice. Okay, so all of our controls work. Let's get out of here, guys. Slip the elastic strap over your head and adjust the mask if necessary. Breathe normally and note that oxygen is flowing, so don't worry about the back of the Be sure to adjust your own mask before helping others. A water evacuation is also unlikely. But just in case, I'm gonna turn uh, LNAV, the nav is going on. If you're seated in the business class okay. or Delta Premium Select cabin, life vests are located in the apartment here. adjacent to your seat or under your armrest. To use, remove the vest from its container off, by pulling on the tab and then opening the pouch. Flip the vest over your head, wrap the strap around your waist, and attach it to the buckle in front. And okay. adjust securely around your waist. As you leave the plane, inflate the vest. Can you take me on a date by plane? Sure, Dave. Is Mentif ACC on? or oh, this is Unicom. This is Unicom right now, Dynasty. So there's no ATC online. We use Unicom, or we use CTAF frequency, which is was a control. I don't know what it actually stands for. Control air traffic. Control tower frequency or something. I don't know what it stands for. But in real life, if there's no, if there's an uncontrolled airport, you use the CTAF frequency, which is what we're on right now. Visible when open, explaining how to use the sweep door in case of an emergency. If you're seated in the main cabin, ensure your aisle armrests are lowered. And in the Delta Premium Select cabin, ensure your aisle armrests are raised. Like As we come through the cabin for our final safety check, please let us know if you have any questions. And finally, now for real dynasty, are these buildings in Memphis this sketchy? Come on, that was a very depressing. I'm not gonna lie, that's a really, really depressing airport. What's Unicom? Uh, it's just a frequent on monitor. It's a frequency when there's no ATC online. Now, as we get ready for takeoff, please. So we're on the CTEF. What does CTEF actually stand for? Um, okay, let me look it up, guys. Let's see what CTEF stands for. I'll tell you what CTEF stands for. Uh, CTEF stands for um, what is it? CTEF? What is it? Common Traf Traffic Advisory Frequency. So it's exactly what it says. When you're at an airport without ATC, you use what's called the CTEF frequency, um, which is just again, it's called Common Traffic Advisory Frequency. So when there's planes in the airspace, you just want to inform other airplanes where you guys are. Trying to remodel, yeah. Now we're gonna go up Charlie here. Very, very sketchy though. I'm just saying those building I most airport terminals they have windows all the way uh at the gates. This thing was just brick walls. It was kind of depressing. <laughs> for sure. Okay. Okay, so we're go one eight center. Uh, I'll turn seatbelt signs to the, yeah the seatbelt signs are on to the on position so we're good there. I have a three sixty. Uh, I'm assuming they took out all the gates off and just blocked off. Interesting. The brick walls are the ones that shut down right now for remodeling. Very cool. I have a three sixty. Uh, how's it run, Eric? You tell me. But if you're telling me you were crashing, Eric, at Chicago yesterday with the 3060, I don't know how I feel now.
It's only a final push where I start lagging, yeah. I was good. Like, I was good. I had 20 frames, but I was good. And keep in mind, I'm also streaming... I'm streaming on two platforms, too. I used to have a 1050, Eric. Um, and it was not doable. Just, I had a 10, uh, 1050 1060 Ti. I think it was a 1060 Ti, and it was awful. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Yeah. Um, the reason why, Eric, is, is because it's trying to load in the scenery of the airport. And Vatsim also as well. Um, so it's a combination of both those things. So try... Tr uh, well, t do this. Try landing. Try doing a flight offline. Try landing. If it lags also when you're offline, then turn your settings down. If it kind of lags, then it's the Vatsim traffic that's causing the issue. Try going RAM? No. No. Uh, upgrade your CPU and upgrade your GPU. RAM, uh, how much RAM do you have? 632 gigabytes. Honestly, none of the above 12? Jesus. Okay, oh my god. Well, RAM isn't your issue. Go upgrade your CPU and your GPU and then get more RAM. But, but do what I said, try doing it offline first, like try doing the flight offline first. I would recommend turn up Pearson because the scenery is kind of intense. Try flying to Pearson um, uh, offline. When you're landing, see if it lags you out. If it does, then it's your computer. But if it's not lagging you out as much, then um, it's Vatsim's traffic that's lagging you. So that's, and then if that's the case with Vatsim traffic, I mean, there's nothing you can do there, right? I mean, you installed model matching too, which also causes more frames, right? Because, uh, cause, yeah, model matching the FSTL, whatever it's called, uh, that thing also <laughs> uses uh, graphics too. So, very, very graphic intensive. Uh, uh. Memphis traffic, Delta 2363, we're lining up on runway 18 Center via Charlie 6, Memphis. Okay. Look at, look at, look how fancy the FedEx, uh, look how fancy the FedEx hub is. Look at all those buildings. We gotta fly cargo once out of Memphis for sure. Hey, from Singapore, welcome, Portugal. Yeah, but we gotta fly cargo one time, guys. To be honest, like, look at, look at, look how nice that is. Look how, look how nice that FedEx terminal is. My Victor Sierra Bravo, my 18th center, Memphis shop. Ready. So, what we'll do is we will turn on our landing lights, or takeoff lights. Uh, we'll turn those guys off. We'll turn our strobe lights are going on. Okay. We'll ding the cabin. Okay. All right, guys. Shall we take off? Let's get off here back into Atlanta. There's so much traffic into Atlanta, by the way. So we'll see what happens, guys. All right, uh, let's see how we're flying this. Okay. All right, toll break, uh, toll break's on. All right, guys, shall we take off? Let's take off. Uh, all right, Memphis traffic, Delta 2363, we're taking off from way 18 center. All right, guys, let's do this. Brakes on. Toga, let the engines rev up here. Put an LNAV on. My LNAV's not working. Okay, whatever. Airspeed alive. Airspeed's alive, checked. 80 knots. 80 knots. Rotate V2. Rotate 
rotate. Okay. Gears going up. Oh shit, that's not what I wanted to do. Where's my wing view? Oh, there you go. My wing view. See the amount of departures out of EDDF? Is it bad? Should we try EDDF after, guys? Probably not, though. I don't know if I'm down. Alright. 107 departures, Jesus. Okay, I'm gonna hand fly this. I mean, maybe should we just go around? It? I mean, I find out. I'm find out Germany next Saturday, right? So, all right, let's bog out uh, thirty five thousand feet here. Oops. Do a barrel roll? Uh, no. Uh, Liam Murphy, you want to do a barrel roll? Do it uh, offline, man. Uh, no. I would not do that. Even if there's no ATC, we're not going to do that. Uh, you want to screw around? And you want to screw around and fly somewhere? Do it offline. That's not the place to do it. It's, uh, it's the 800. Uh, Liam, this is the Vassim network, so yes. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to, uh, I'll switch over to that frequency there. down a bit. It's going down to 104. Should we uh, fly out of Germany? Should you sim commercial flights? That is correct. Right, I'm going to turn on autopilot guys. Turn on autopilot here. Good departure. I like that. That was a great departure. That was a fun, that was a fun departure guys. Okay, uh, we'll get rid of Holly right now. I don't need that view. Uh, that's fine. I'll turn this off here. We don't need Holly right now. Center American Center East Duke, got a Please fly from you. EDF to EGLL. Okay, maybe. Maybe. Let me see. What's the event tonight at Atlanta? Uh, there's multiple events throughout the day, but basically one after another. Uh, basically, it's a 24 hour Atlanta event. Cool, thanks. Should we actually do it to Heathrow? I'm down. Oh boy, guys. I don't know. I don't know if I have time, though. That's the thing. I'm flying out of Germany next week. That's the thing, right? One oh five departures. Yeah, I don't know if I want to deal with that shit show, to be honest with you. I don't know if I want to deal with that. That'd be kind of crazy. Again, I am flying out of Germany next Saturday. We're doing cross the pond, so we're doing Cologne to Toronto Pearson on April 20th. Uh, I gotta check what my departure time is. Uh, you know, I should actually check what my departure time is, so let's take a, let's take a look. Let's take a look actually at what my uh, what my time is. So I am the uh, bookings dashboard. Dashboard. So my booking is uh, my takeoff time, guys, is gonna be twelve twenty six Zulu time. I thought it was twelve forty. Okay. So our departure time is gonna be twelve twenty six Zulu time next week, uh, which is eight forty a.m. Um, local time for me. So we'll start the stream at seven thirty a.m. Eastern time next Saturday then. 
I don't think it's going to be this busy next week. Uh, aviation, I would say it's going to be even busier. It's going to be across the pond. So it's going to be even more busy. I'd assume probably like 200 departures plus. Right? It's going to be a, ba it's gonna be a bad time. Uh, last year, someone crossed the pond. They had a two and a half hour delay out of... Um, uh, out of... Uh, what was it? Out of um, Orlando last year. But yeah, it's going to be pretty... It's going to be pretty bad. For sure. You will not find parking. Uh, yeah. That's why you have slots. Uh, aviation, for Cross the Pond, you have to book a slot. So, um, we'll have a spot for sure, but it's gonna be messy for sure. It's gonna be, it's gonna definitely be messy out of, uh, Germany next week. Uh, and then we're gonna fly to UK airspace, which is gonna be complete shit show. To be honest with you, I'm kind of glad that we're not flying out of Heathrow, because if we fly out of Heathrow, we would be delayed on the ground for like two hours, guaranteed. Um, and this is honestly my first cross the pond anyway, so I'm curious to see how bad it actually gets. So we'll see. The six arrivals to KATL. Oh, you mean? Oh, you mean into Atlanta right now? Okay, we'll see. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know. Okay, uh, we'll turn off our landing lights here. Turn off our taxi lights. Okay, and we'll go to local pressure or standard pressure. Wonderful. It's the, is it that busy in Atlanta right now? All right, let's see. Let's see how many arrivals into Atlanta right now. Uh, let's see, guys. Okay. Okay. Wonderful. Ladies and gentlemen, as we climb to our cruising... Uh, they have 40 departures, don't worry, you'll be fine? Okay, we'll see you guys. Thank you to each of you. Now welcome back to our SkyMall members and million milers. Your business and loyalty are greatly appreciated by the entire Delta family. For your safety, it's important to remain seated with your seatbelt securely fastened anytime the seatbelt sign is on. Even if the sign is off, please keep your seatbelt fastened in case we experience any unexpected rough air. We'll, we'll see how the landing, we'll see how this goes, guys. Uh, I'm gonna check what the altimeter is in Atlanta. 32, Water juices, a variety of complimentary snacks. Do you fly for Delta Virtual Airlines? No. We're just flying out Delta today, because uh, we're flying out of Atlanta, so we're using Delta today. Beer, wine, and spirits are available, complimentary for our first class and Delta Comfort Plus passengers, as well as available for purchase for the main cabin. A complete listing of available beverages, as well as of our fresh eats items can be found in the menus in your seat pocket. Please be reminded that Delta accepts only major credit or debit cards for onboard purchases of beverages. Uh, and we can do this right here. However, you can use your Delta uh, Scan Miles American Express forecast, card. Forecast. Forecast. percent and earn double miles on all Delta purchases. Asiana, for your enjoyment, each seat is equipped with your own personal payment system. system. On it, you can view a selection of complimentary as well as on-demand TV shows, movies, and music. You will find that the screen. We'll work best with just a light tap at your fingertips. Feel free to use your own headsets. Otherwise, if you do need a headset, just let our flight attendant know they are yours complimentary for this and any future Delta flights. Okay. Cool. Uh, we're gonna cruise up to 35,000 feet. Uh, that's gonna be our cruise altitude for today. Should be a faster flight because we, we're, fly 20, we're gonna be flying 
higher. Uh, and then the other thing is we're gonna be we have a tailwind, I think. Yeah, we have a fifty we have a fifty four knot tailwind right now. I think we had like a hundred knot we had like a hundred knot headwind into Memphis, so this should be a much, much faster flight. KTL is the second busiest airport, very cool. It was a decent landing into Memphis. It was a good crossbow landing. I think that was a good technique. Someone's in trouble. Okay, never mind. He's not in trouble. He's off the hook. Yeah, I'm just trying to build this spacing between you and the guy in front, and then after that, I'll just bring you back to normal speed. Alright, no problem. I'm going to expedite my climb here. We're going to climb, we'll go to max rate here. Execute, done. Let's do that. Let's expedite our climb. Nothing that really matters. Let's get into Atlanta fast, guys. Who's with me? I'm gonna cut down a lot of time here. It's telling me total uh, block time is hour 17 minutes, air time 49 minutes. I didn't start the clock, but uh, I think we'll beat 49 minutes anyways. We have, we have a nice, we have a nice, nice tailwind right now, so should make us go much faster here. I'm on the ground in Atlanta, very cool. Uh, so aviation clan, you'll hear me then, uh, on the radio then. Look at this. This shows you how small of a short of a flight it is. Our top of climb is right here, and then our top of descent is right here. Do I have a PPL? Unfortunately, I don't. Um, yeah, but as you can see right here, top of climb, top of descent. Atlanta Center, Bonanza, November 572, Tango, Mike. I'm on the, yeah. Uh, flight level 230, IFR Gainesville. 572, Tango, Mike, Atlanta Center, welcome. Atlanta Center, we have the uh, air, uh, the weather there at Gainesville. We'd like to do the uh, RNAV 2-3. Uh, we'll join the approach at Austin to Tango Mike. To Tango Mike. Um, Roger, that request will be with Atlanta Approach uh, once you're a little bit closer to the airport. Copy that. 2 uh, Tango Mike. Afternoon, Atlanta Center, Delta 420, heavy 14,000. Delta 420, Atlanta, hello, by maintain level 3. But where are you landing on? I don't know. I don't know. Right now, they're landing on, uh, right now they're landing on 27 left, 26 left, and 28. So, Atlanta Center, who knows? Uh, I'm not sure when I'm going to swap over for 2 Tango Mike, but uh, I need to start a descent. Uh, can I get down to 11,000 1, for 2 Tango Mike? Tango Mike, the center maintain one one eleven thousand. The channel and go seven hundred three zero two two. Okay, three zero two two. Yeah, so who knows? It's going to be the two sevens anyways, uh, but I don't know exactly which one we're going to be landing on. So we'll. I have it programmed around for two seven left, but I will see if we get it or not. Who knows? Let's check how. Let's check how bad it is right now in Frankfurt right now. 
It's that bad, huh? 122 departures, 90 arrivals. I don't. I'm not looking for. I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> no way, I'm looking forward to that, guys. American <laughs> Twenty three, twenty six. You can resume normal speed now. Twenty five. Twenty five points. Five. I will resume normal speed and we'll contact Avenue twenty five five. Twenty three, twenty six. How do I? Uh, how do I fix altitude cabin warning? Uh, right here. Uh, it's this alt altitude corn cutoff button right here. This button right here. November 310, Delta Mike, you're clear to the Kilo Charlie at Hotel Officer Airport as filed. Maintain 6000, expect flight level 250, 10 minute attempt with departure. Departure with me, squawk 2053. Seven four five mock the eight seven eight seven can fly at eight five mock so sure does the light three back correct um runway two three right for departure also better three zero two zero off taxi Yeah, Atlanta is pretty bad right now. 64 departures, 64 rivals into Atlanta. So Atlanta is going to be pretty busy as well. I want to call into ATC right here in just a second. I think we're just about to. Okay, let's call the MIP, guys. Uh, Atlanta Center, hello, Delta 2363. We're at flight level 350, 14 miles west of uh, Hotel Uniform Tango, Charlie Charlie. Delta 2363, Atlanta Center, hello, better contact, position 7, maintain level 3, Maintain 780, okay guys, there we go, we're connected with ATC right now, so we're good, we'll get ATC into Atlanta. There's two way too many planes here in, uh, in Atlanta right now, it's crazy. Let's go look outside, let's take a look outside. I mean, there's not much here that you can see at this high. Great livery though, I will say, I do enjoy the livery for Delta. Are my wing lights on? Wait, what? Uh, no, they're off. Uh, okay, I don't know what that was, but okay.
Hopefully he doesn't make a fire holding pattern here. There's a lot of departures and arrivals in Tormenta. I mean, I don't think he will hold me. I think landing aircraft have priority, right? Because planes in the air have priority for planes on the, on the ground. So uh, we shouldn't have, uh, we shouldn't need to fire hold here. Uh, fingers crossed though, we'll see what happens. Uh, lots of arrivals into Atlanta right now. Exit eight. Uh, I'm sorry, exit six eighty two. Manchester closed. Radar service terminated. Frequency crew today. Here, Advisor. Frequency crew closed. 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 Delta 2363, descend across Gladden, at and maintain 14,000, Atlanta altimeter 3023. Descend and be level by Gladden at uh, 14,000 feet, altimeter 3023 for Delta 2363. ABS 1945, Jackson, Fox, Radar Service. Alrighty, so we just got our clearance here to descend at Glavin, so um, I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna bug this in right now. So he said by Glavin, where's Glavin? He said by Glavin, we should be at uh, two four zero, uh, and we should be at fourteen thousand feet. Okay, so we'll do that. We'll recalculate, and what that's gonna do is VNAV is gonna automatically descend me appropriately. So I'm gonna set this down to fourteen thousand here. We'll bug or we'll bug this altitude to fourteen thousand. And the plane will descend itself. I'm back to critique you. Sounds good, man. Okay. Critique away, man. Critique away. Okay, awesome. So uh, let's take a look at our VNAV then right now three five zero three two six two six six seventeen nine two four and then Glavin. Okay, might continue descending now to eight thousand. Could you repeat that for two tango mic? Just gonna maintain eight thousand. Two five zero eight thousand two tango mic. Thanks. Backslash Okay, let's do that. Two five zero knots. By Glavin. Oh, it's descending me down already. Interesting. There you go, guys. All right, we are descending down into Atlanta. Uh, I'm gonna check the winds here uh, just to see what we're dealing with right now. Um, three one zero fifteen knots. Okay. Gusting to twenty three knots. Okay. Twenty four degrees in Atlanta right now. Ooh. Center. What will be that next frequency for uh, two tango mic? Uh, the next frequency is one three three four seven, but don't switch yet. And hey, we'll hold off. We're just trying to get ahead of the flight here. Alright, let's do our, uh, I think we're good. Let's do our descent briefing. Uh, let's do... 3347, Okay, let's take a look at our... Let's take a look at our approach briefing real quick right now. right clear for takeoff. Wind is... It's gonna vector me anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so we're gonna be on the Glavin 1 RNAV arrival, so he said... He said to Glavin we should be at 14,000 feet. So we're gonna be Glavin at 14,000 feet. We're inbound right now on Jackson, so we're gonna go... We were going from Rasa to Jackson to Maddox to Glavin, uh, and then we'll probably follow this down here Yaba, Navi, Andy, Defense, Pearl, Eagle, Shirt, Fogger, so on and so forth. So that's going to be our uh, our nav arrival, and then I'm planning for 2 6 left right now. Uh, the uh, 
frequency is going to be 108.7 so we'll put this in right now not saying that really matters 1087 approach course is going to be 275 Center be controlling us into Knoxville. Uh, yes, yeah, you're gonna stay with me the whole way. Okay. Gotcha, thank you. And then we'll take a look where we need to be here. Uh, ILS is gonna be one two eight zero. So we'll bug that in for one two eight zero here. One two. I'm gonna uh, I'll this with the Blink again. Steven eight eight Mike Charlie whatever for him. Steven eight eight Mike. And we checked the winds already, so we're good there. Uh, so we're we're good for that. But we'll just see what runway they they give us here. Maybe I should fly the seven three seven or cross the pond. Nah, I don't think I would do that. I would run out of fuel. I, I'm pretty sure only the 787-900 BBJ would be able to make it from Germany to Toronto. I think otherwise I would not have enough fuel to make it up for eight and a half hours. Arm this. Might as well just put that up. We'll do that. Now read your approach plates in a Z pattern. Yeah, sure. We'll read in the Z pattern. I was just reading it all over the place. But uh, thank you, thank you. Keep critique. Keep the critiques coming. So we'll read it this way, right? Read it like this. Oh, you know what we have to do also. We'll we have to brief the misapproach here because there is traffic here in. Um, in Atlanta, so we do need to brief the missed approach. So let's look at let's look at the missed approach here. Climb to 1,500 feet, then climb a right turn to 4,000 feet on heading 290 zone inbound on the Romeo Mike Golf VR, uh, and then hold right there. So that's what our that's what our um, missed approach is going to be. But we're not going to go around because if I go around, it's going to be like 30 minutes in the air to get revectored in. So short of, short of a very very bad approach we're gonna just send it one way or another right i'm not going to, i'm not going around i know i know i'm a terrible pilot i should be going around more often than i actually do guys what's the effective date what's your minimums my minimums are going to be 1280 feet uh barometric uh barometric altitude that's gonna be our minimum uh effective date i don't think um i don't think oh i guess there is an effective date cool Effective date is January nineteenth, twenty twenty-four. So we're right on the active. We're on the uh, recent Iraq cycle. So I guess that's really, really uh, recent. Three one zero Delta Mike. We are crossing four thousand six hundred. Three one zero Delta Mike. I actually never noticed that there was an effective date on the on on Navigav charts. I guess it makes sense. I sent you a private message. I'll take a look after North side. Khalifa, thanks for the follow, really appreciate it. Okay, happy, I will come back and critique you tomorrow. Uh, I won't be flying tomorrow, Nikon. I will probably fly after this next Saturday. I need to just relax, get in the, get in the zone for... Uh, next Saturday's long call flight. I, I, it's gonna be a lot. It's gonna be a lot, a lot of flight, guys. Okay, be back then. Okay, I mean we're descending right now. We're gonna be on the ground in about twenty minutes. November trip on zero Delta Mike. Delta Mike, would you mind uh, to repeat the fix, please? Uh, zero Delta Mike. It's Tango Hotel Echo Romeo Zulu. Tank of hotel echo room with three months Thank you very much. Let me check this. Uh let's check this. We'll go to uh approach uh 133 knots, okay. It's making we're making really really fast time actually. Uh all things considered here. 
Uh, we'll go back to the legs. I just want to check something here. 240 knots. 13. Yeah, I guess that work. I guess that would actually work. I'm gonna try maybe purely using VNAV. Actually, no, I don't think that would work. Probably be a, that'd probably be a bad idea. Anyways, we are descending into Atlanta right now. He'll hand. I think he'll hand us off in the next two minutes to approach, and that's gonna be pretty busy. I think. I'm on the same route as you before even checking your stream. Oh, how did that happen? It's pretty funny. Okay, we're on track right now. He'll ask us, he'll switch us over to center uh, approach here in just a second. Oh guys, there's too many planes here. Yeah, we'll be on track for Glavin at 14,000 feet. That should be fine. Atlanta Center, Southwest 2325 is 10,000 uh, climbing 14,000. 2325, Atlanta, hello, climbing vehicle 3 Game three, two, zero, okay, we're gonna be on uh, local pressure now. Uh, I think seatbelts are on, right? Yeah, seatbelts are on. Uh, we can turn our landing lights on because I think in the US. I think in the US they turn them on under 18,000 feet. So we'll, we'll flip those on. Nice, I can see the lights on right now. I think it's sketchy. I don't know what runway that he's giving me yet. So we'll see what happens, guys. I'm early today. Joshua, you're right on time, man. We're landing. We're landing into Atlanta. Advisory, 
Mo said that the sand started up my flight to Fort Lauderdale from Toronto. Very cool, B. Very cool. Maybe I should fly the seven eight, uh, the seven three seven, for across the pond. But there's no way I have enough gas. That's I won't have enough fuel to get across. That's the problem. Unless I flew the nine hundred BBJ, I guess with that it would get me across. But that, what's the fun in that, right? Awesome. We are at Glavin right now. I never, I usually, uh, I never fly US, usually I just set my alpine jump at the Takaha, yeah. Yeah, I would love to do that. Okay, but we're at Blavin right now. Uh, he'll probably hand, he'll probably make us, he'll hand us off to approach here in just a second, I think. Oh, I'm lagging right now. So I'm doing right now, Mob. One two five six five for Delta twenty three sixty three. Have a good rest of your day. One two five six five. Okay, so we're switching over to one two five six five. And then tower is gonna be on one one nine point one. So one one nine point. Atlanta approach uh, Delta twenty three sixty three. We're at uh, fourteen thousand uh, inbound on uh, uh, Sierra Tango Hotel Romeo November. Delta twenty three sixty three Atlanta approach runway two seven left. Uh, just gonna maintain one two thousand and fly heading one two zero. Expect uh, two seven left and we'll descend down to one two thousand. Uh, turn one two zero heading for Delta twenty three sixty three. Alrighty guys, let's go have some fun here. Okay, so we'll go ahead in select mode, we'll reduce down to 12,000 feet, and guys, we got runway 27 left. How long was the departure at O'Hare last night? An hour 15 uh, minutes. One hour 15 minutes, that's how long we were on the ground for. It was awful, it was not a good time guys. Uh, we'll go to level change too. And we'll fly 230 here. Yeah, it was bad. The flight itself, for reference, from Chicago to Toronto is only an hour and a half. Uh, but we were on the ground for an hour and 15 minutes. That's how delayed we were. It was, uh, it was a fun time. All right, 108.5, 108. I'm gonna approach very good afternoon, walk 3465, uh, 17,000 feet for 1,000 feet at Aussie. Walk 3465, I'm approach, walk and runway 27 left. 108.5. I have information kilo, I expect to left, walk 3465. American 814, to maintain 9,000. Down to 9,000, and we do have uh, we got kilo on board for 814. I got the approach I wanted, guys. We take that. Uh, I don't know which way I'm getting off the runway. I'm gonna. Delta 2363, reduce speed to 210. Do speed 210 for Delta 2363. Okay. Um, I want to see which way we're uh, gonna turn off the runway at. Uh, if we're landing here, it's gonna be a 
right turn off the road. American 763 Atlanta approach walk and runway 27 left advise you of information kilo. Where are you flying to? We're flying to Atlanta right now. If there's a little white arrow on the navigation, does that mean I'm gonna have to descend there? That's correct B. If you're flying the A330, which I think you are, that means you're descending right there. Yeah. I think my FR has been landing on zone 9 left. I'll check where the real, uh, where the real, um, runway they're landing on. Because they change the runways based on the weather, right? So if you fly the wrong direction on the wrong way, you can still land it. it just it's not going to be a good landing per se. But we got the runway that we we planned for, guys. We got two seven left. Thank God. Don't make me redo another briefing. Damn, you're a good pilot. Any help on TOD? Um, uh, if you program your FMC, if you plan, if you program your FMC properly. You will always reach the top of the scent, and you can one, two, you can always check the top of the scent. I mean, I'm already descending, but I'm already descending, so you won't see it here. But again, if you program your FMC properly, it will calculate your top of the scent and everything. Uh, and if you use VNAV, it'll automatically descend the plane as well, right? So just learn how to program your FMC. So maintain seven thousand for Delta twenty three sixty three. American 814 turn right, heading 220, just to maintain 6,000. Uh, the other thing I'll just say... 6,000 for 814. Double change, okay. Double change, come on. Why is it not level changing? There you go. The other thing is, if you want a general rule of thumb for top of the scent, it's take your difference between your current altitude and your target altitude, multiply that by 3 at 10 miles. So for example, let's say you're flying at 30,000 feet, you're just, you're, you're, you want to land at you know sea level 0 feet, right? So that's 30,000 feet you need to drop. So high level rule, take 30,000 uh, times 3, which is 90 plus 10, so you would descend around 100 nautical miles away from your destination. So that's the general rule, is times 3, uh, d times 3 plus 10 miles, that's the general rule of thumb for when to start descending. Obviously that changes based on the winds and... Uh, turning 095 and then contact approach 13347 for Delta 2363. Again, sir. American 814, contact Atlanta approach 133.47. 1347, have a good day, 143. 1337, right? 1 approach, Alpha 200, heading 4500. 1 Alpha, welcome. 1 Charlie Alpha, quick question, you got a, a destination airport in mind, flight following anywhere, or just southbound? American 814, Atlanta approach, uh, runway 27 left, and I maintain 4000. Down to 4000, American 814. This is so manual, I need to get like a radio stock. This is always so manual, I'm just... Okay, then. Uh, Atlanta approach, hello Delta 2363, we are at uh, 10,000 for 7,000. Delta 2363, Atlanta approach, uh, hello, only 27 left, just gonna maintain 4,000. Gonna maintain 4,000 for Delta 2363. Why am I descending so slow? Holy cannoli. Already. Why is the engine so solid? Because I'm descending. Uh, I'm descending, that's why. So the engines are cut right now. Right? So the engines the engines aren't even running right now. So you can see right here it says arm. It's because you... It, the, look, and you can look right here. The throttle's completely pulled back. Reckoning 14, fighting 245, join the localizer, report field in sight. 245, we'll grab the localizer and we'll report field in sight for American Eagles. Sure, Fox, you see you still up? I should ask my, my descent here. I don't know if a thousand feet is going to do it, guys, but we'll see what happens here. 
All right. I accidentally ended this scent here. It's going way too slow. All right, we're over vertical. I'm gonna vertical speed this here. Down to like 1,500 feet per minute. Get, get us down here faster. Can I approach the United States? American 814, Cooper, approach for my 27 left, maintain 180 or not for greater. Clear visual, 27 left, will maintain 180 or American 814. And departure, Vigit, Fox 16,000, Zulu, Atlanta, approach, uh, uh, radar contact. I'm gonna drag the speed brake here. I'm going way too fast. We're dragging this. We're gonna drag the speed brake here. In Atlanta departure, Skyhawk 1027 Zulu with you at 2000. I'm way too. I'm way too high. Departure, ZJ Fox 16000. Guys, I think I'm high here. We'll see what happens. 1000 now, ZJ Fox. So 2363, turn we're heading 180. Right, 180 for Delta 2663. Alright, it's gonna be sketchy guys. Here we go. Delta 2063, line up for my 27 left, flight at 180. 27 left, flight at 180, Delta 203. Here we go guys. Very sketchy. I'm, I'm, I'm still a bit high here. But we'll see what happens. Delta 2363, reduce speed to 210. Reducing speed to 210, sorry, I think we were just going too fast on the descent. No problem. Alright, uh, I'm gonna turn off vertical speed here. I'm gonna pull down the speed here. Guys, you're gonna give me a hard time for that. Heading 110 at 4500. Delta 2363, finding 245 for an localizer. 245 to join the localizer, Delta 2063. Delta 203, finding. 300 to the localizer. Three, uh, three, no, 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 no,
I saw this happen, move to visual 2010 left, left, 203. Yeah, yeah. 203 yeah. on Depot, at Depot, 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 Delta 2363, Connect Tower 1191.1 Tower 1191, have a day, Delta 2363 Why is this thing... Why is this so windy right now? Oh my god What is... why is this... Why is this doing this? Alright, hold on a sec guys, something's not right here. Put gear down. Something's not right guys. I reduce my flaps here. I'm gonna drag the plane here. UPS 13 heavy cross from my 27 right on Juliet. Join uh, Mike. I don't know why it's shaking me so much. This is fuzzy. I don't know what it's doing right now. Uh, tower Delta 2363, we're descending on the ILS uh, 27 left. Delta 2363, Atlanta Tower, runway 26 left. Correct. Uh, Delta 2363, runway 27 left, clear to land. It's land, 27 left for Delta 2063. American 814, short of runway 27 right at Tango. This is so sketchy, guys. Right Tango, oh, it's gonna be such a bad landing, guys. All right. Oh my God, this is so right, bad, guys. 17, this is so bad right now. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you. Landing. God, the winds are so bad here. All right. Okay, here we go. American 814 affirmative, hold short of runway 27 right at Tango. Alright, we'll hold 7. Oh my god, look at that wind. FedEx 2009, contact departure. 30. Oh my god. Could be this. Oh my god. Oh, that's so bad. 203, runway 27 left, go to land. That was so bad, guys. We don't talk about that landing. Alright, oh my god. Exit right. Exit right for 2363. United 780 cross, runway 27 left at Romeo 7, no delay. Cross runway 27 left, uh, Romeo 7, no delay, United 7. Southwest 203, one aircraft crossing downfield prior to your arrival. Watch it. God, that was so bad. I don't know why it was shaking the plane so much. The winds weren't even that bad. It was like 10 knots. I don't understand what the, why that was so bad. Alright. Anyways, this contact ground. Oh my god, that was awful. Go around? No, I'm not gonna go around. It'll take me forever to get back in the approach. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, guys. I don't know what happened there. You guys saw that? It was shaking the plane, and I was on all pilot the entire time to like minimums. And it was just shaking my American plane. American 1720, contact Atlanta Tower 123.85. Tower 123.85, American 1720. Tower Delta 377, short of 2, six left. See the other guy just came up to him. UPS 13, cross from my 27 right, join Lima. Cross 27 right, join the UPS 13 heavy. American 1718, contact departure 125.65. 125.65, American 1718, see ya. American 814, cross runway 27 right, and contact ground 121.7 on the other side. Clear to cross 27 right, one contact ground on the other side, 121.7. Have a good day, so United 780, hold. United 780, hold short of runway 27 right at Sierra, and monitor tower 
For sure, that the runway two seven right at Sierra and the. Uh, I'm 100 knots miles out. Very cool. Yo, I'm back. Welcome back, Gabriel. You don't want to see. United 780, just monitor the tower, and they're on frequency one two three point eight five. Monitor one two three eight five. United 780. Delta 2363, hold short of runway 27 right at Tango and monitor tower 123.85. Hold short of 27 right on Tango, we'll monitor tower 123.65 for Delta 23. Tower today, Delta 377, are now at ILS, runway 27 left at 123.65. Delta 377, RNAV Snuffy, runway 26 left, clear for takeoff. 1, 2, 3, 6, 5. RNAV Snuffy, 26 left, clear for takeoff, 377. Walker, 3465, out at tower, runway 27 left, clear to land. Walker, 3465, out at tower, runway 27 left, clear to land. Walker, 3465, Atlanta Tower, runway 27 left, clear to land. Clear to land, runway 27 left, runway 3465. Oh, shoot. Southwest East, vacated on the 27 left. Southwest 203, hold short of runway 27 right at Papa. Hold short of 27 right at Papa, Southwest 203. Okay, I need to... Atlanta Tower, American 763, uh, 9 mile final, runway 27 left. Uh, 23 right, uh, control mic, and hold short, run, uh, United 7. What are you doing today, the flight? Atlanta to Memphis and back. That was an awful night, I don't know what happened there. Winds or something? Just any way it was a disgusting landing. We're not what that was terrible. Absolute awful guys. I don't know what happened there. Probably should have gone around, but again with events and stuff, what flight? Uh Memphis uh uh Atlanta to Memphis and back. One two three point eight five. That's hard off nineteen eighty seven is up. That's 1987, thanks. Delta 850, RNF to football, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. RNF football, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff, Delta 850. Delta 1987, runway 27 right, left and right, expect yeah, a first uh, officer, yeah. quick takeoff here. Alright, left and way 27 right, expect to delay Delta 1987. See, there's a delay right now. You hear that, guys? That's why I'm not going around. Cause if I, if if I, if I went around, we would have to basically spend another half hour, and I'm not doing that. So, I mean, uh, for cross the pond, I probably will do it, but for this, uh, I probably won't. Delta 1987, RNF to Swan, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. Start the APU. Uh, yeah, it's 780 in contact ground point and 75. Turn that on. You get 15 okay, heavy right, runway right. 2 turn right, left way, traffic crosses downfield. Uh, sorry, I stepped on. Delta system. Airlines say that's correct, Josh. You get 15 heavy runway 2 turn right, left way. I'm 2 turn right, left way, you get 15 heavy. And you guys holding short, I'll get you across after this heavy departs. Yeah, 1720, correct. EPS 13, heavy, RNF is football, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff. RNF football, runway 27 right, clear for takeoff, and EPS 13, heavy. This guy taking off right here. Delta 850, contact departure, you have a good day. Ah, oh, you're fine. Okay. I think we're waiting. 1987 contact departure. Were you flying out of? Uh, we landed in Atlanta. We did Atlanta, uh, sorry, you Atlanta heavy, to please. Memphis Exit and back. You were searching heavy, Roger, cancel, take off clearance, right turn, Lima, make a right turn on Lima, Charlie, taxi straight on to Lima, Lima, Alpha. 
Uh, you can fly real plane, 100% jack. Uh, Dolphin 2363 at Tango Cross Road 27 right, join Lima, ground point 9 on the other side. Cross 27 right on Tango and then join Lima on the other side, contact ground on point 9 for Dolphin 2363. Uh, do you get fly real plane? Yeah, so like planes in real life, uh, commercial jets in real life are just. I've said this a bunch of times, commercial jet. Commercial jets are just button pushing simulators, right? As long as you know what button to push, you can fly a commercial jet in real life. Yep, we're still on frequency. We're 2363, we're crossing right now. Yep, uh, ground will be 121.75. 121.75 for Delta 2363. Walker 3465, Tango Cross Runway 27 right, join Lima, ground point 75. Um, cross Runway 27 right, uh, join Lima and ground dot 75, Walker 3465. American 763 at November 5, Cross Runway 27 right, join Mike, ground point 75, have a good day. American 763. Go ahead. American 763 at November 5, cross runner 2, 10 right, join. Zappa 203, Roger, taxi via Mike to ramp 3, good afternoon. Mike 223, I have to like Zappa 203. Um, where are you going to from? We went from Atlanta to Memphis and we did the return flight. Uh, Atlanta ground, hello, Delta 2363, we are joining Lima. Uh, Atlanta ground, what's your gate number? Uh, I'll take anything in the Alpha gate, uh, uh, uh in, uh, Concourse A. Okay, roger, Dallas 5363, straight ahead, call ramp, good day. Straight ahead, call ramp, for Delta 2368. What is ramp frequency? I'm gonna say 118.1. Does flying scare you in real life? No. I'm going to say 118. Ground order 3465, Jordan Lima. Order 3465, Atlanta Ground, Roger, what's your gate number? Uh, for course, C, Eddie Gay is good. Roger. Southern C, 03, path behind Walker. Path behind the Walker. We'll see. 118.1. One. Delta 2063, are we on ramp frequency? Negative, this is uh, clearance. Uh, ramp frequency is 131.37. Uh, confirm that was 131.37. Yep, 31375. Thank you so much. 131375. So you can see in real life, there's two pilots flying for this exact reason, because I'm trying to change the frequency, I'm trying to talk to ATC while flying the plane at the same time. Tactic guys. Three seven five. Okay. Atlanta ramp. Hello, Delta twenty three sixty three. Um, entering on Concourse A. Delta twenty three sixty three. Hello, left side to the gate. Give a good day. Left side to the gate. Have, thanks. For 2063. Give tutorial on Batsim. You're yeah. loud and clear. Yeah, I have a I'll beginner's. I have a beginner's guide. Uh, um, I have a beginner's right. guide. I SU blind on my TikTok. So, I right. uh, highly recommend checking that video out. I can handle the self reflect the stress. Hello, yeah, it's. Hello, push is approved. It's definitely stressful for there sure, is. right? Because uh, keep in mind, in real life, they have two pilots, the pilot flying and the pilot monitoring. I'm doing both, right? So you can imagine how much work it is, right? It's double the workload. Uh, especially on big airports, it's it's actually it's actually pretty intense. Walker 3465, hello, left side the gate, give a good day. 
left at the gate, so I walk 3465 by that. Left, hello, Alpha 203, uh, pulling up on uh, 3 south. So, 203, hello, left, for right side of the gate, you have a good day. Right side of the gate, uh, have a good day, Alpha 203. I'm right parked beside this American Airlines. 2416, how about left side out at ground point Nenner? You have a good day. Left side out at ground point Nenner, Delta 2416. Southwest 115, ready for taxi. Delta 115, hello, left side out and ground point Nenner. Well, there's you United here too, cool. Left side out, ground so point let's park Nenner, uh, beside these two guys. Okay, so we'll park beside these guys here. The, the line, there's west line and then east line, a right side and then left side. Should I take hey, MCL? Yeah, absolutely. I love MCL. Love, love, um, I love flying in and out of MCL. We'll do this next time. So there's an we're we're beside the American Airlines Airbus. I think it's an Airbus. And he disconnected. Okay. Let's see your settings. Uh they're just on ultra everything aviation. Uh, everything's on ultra except for terrain level of detail and object level of details and trees are on medium. Everything else is on ultra. Uh, yeah, perfect. Alright guys, welcome down to Atlanta. Uh, what I'm gonna do here is we will, uh, go into here, we'll go into menu, we'll go to FS action, we'll ground services, we'll put the chalks in. Uh, I'm going to turn off the engines here. Okay. Uh, I'm going to then request the ground power unit. Uh, we'll, we'll request the jetway. That's fine. We'll Ramp, do the uh, American 582. We're we'll request the jetway. Cool. I don't know why the jetway's not working. That's fine. If you was to fly in real airliner, would you like to have an experienced pilot by your side? Uh, Joshua, it's mandatory to fly with two pilots in real life. That's why in real life they do have two pilots, right? You watch me do both at the same time. Which you can imagine is pretty tough. Why is the jet bridge not working? Alright, I don't know why the jet bridge is not working, but whatever. You want us to still hold short of France 6 North? Alright, anti collision light, wing lights on, strobe lights continue off, that's off, that's off, taxi lights, landing lights, we can turn this off, we'll turn this off. We'll open the fuel, we'll close the fuel pumps here. Okay. Do that. Uh, we'll turn off the packs. Awesome. We're call ground. We're flying in Germany yeah, last three. night. Is that where we're at? No, I decided not to. Germany yeah. is way too long. Uh, we had a complete, we had a complete shit show out yeah, Chicago last sure. night. I'm not down to wait an hour out of Germany right now. So that's why we, um, we, uh, we, we flew in the U.S. instead. Uh, but anyways, guys, welcome down to. Atlanta. So today, what did we fly? We flew the uh, return flight. F we flew from Atlanta to Memphis, and then the, the, the return flight from Memphis back to Atlanta. Rampa, Rampa, uh, so those were our two Atlanta likes today, guys. To do, uh, um, thank you for those that joined us. Um, Okay. Anyways, guys, um, welcome down. Um, we might do a stream sometime during this weekday. I'm not sure. Maybe we will. Maybe we won't. I haven't decided. 
But either way, I will definitely be streaming on two on, on Saturday when we do cross the pond at 7:30 a.m. Eastern time. So I'm going to actually schedule that stream on YouTube right now, guys. Uh, but uh, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the stream today. Um, a bit of a quick one than I usually do, but uh, anyways, it was fun. We enjoyed ourselves. Um, I might stream again this weekend, we'll, uh, or I might stream this weekday. We'll see what happens, but most likely not. Um, we'll probably stream on Saturday, April the 20th, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Time. So guys, that's going to be the next stream. It's going to be April 20th. Not far from EDF to EGL. Uh, no way, man. That line, that line is scaring me. We'll we'll deal with that nonsense next week. But anyways, guys, thank you for joining on the stream. Um, and make sure to join next Saturday, April twentieth. We're gonna do cross the pond, guys. So, cheers. Have a good rest of your weekend, guys. And we'll see you next Saturday. I don't think I'll stream. Um, I really don't think I'll stream this week. But we'll see what happens. All right, guys. Cheers.